Long have I waited for this day. I know you can't have forgotten my face. Do not pretend otherwise. Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga. That man was my father. You don't mean. You're that girl from before. I'm not that girl anymore. I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance. Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Today, finally, my blade will have its due! Quiet! Men, have your way with her! <laughs> <laughs> You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place. For I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary Terror of Edo! The slasher is none other than I. Did you see that? Father. Bravo! 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 Magnificent! Magnificent! Wonderful! <laughs> Masumi! Did you finish cutting that confetti? No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? This kind of money is nothing, so don't let it go to your head! You ungrateful little brat! Don't you look at me like that. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. <laughs> Make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko! Stop it! <laughs> Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? <sighs> Tora-chan! Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? Hmm? Are you sure? <laughs> Who cares about all this? Okay, Masumi. Don't worry about the confetti. Let me give you a hand. I should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. 
I may never be an award-winning actor, but I've always been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. <laughs> what do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. Whoa, Masumi. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. Dad? Dad? Here we are, the last day of the 20th century. And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. Hey, Ichi. I sent Ichi out to do collections. Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done, Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamurocho. Life's a bitch. Then you die. Stop, Bushio, you piece of shit! <laughs> what? Can get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! <laughs> Leave me alone! Stop, damn it! Give up already! Looks like I shook him off. Ushio, pal. I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, I believe you. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real, it's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitching the Arakawa family about porn scammers on our turf. 
can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on. Cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. Dealing with? Of course not. Just some Yakuza street trash who's gotta learn when to quit. You're less than shit. Choices, choices. Yeah. Pissing your pants yet? <laughs> cool. You okay? Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. Whoa, payday! <laughs> that guy was pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, he was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <laughs> <sighs> Nothing. I get it. Yeah, hey, look at this real quick. Huh? How bad is it? Fucker got me with his brass knuckles. Yeah, you've got a good size lump there, dude. No, you idiot. I mean my hair! I just got it done! And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. You just gotta, you know... Don't touch it! I pay good money for this shit! Hey there, Ichi! You kept me waiting. Have a drink with me, will ya? It's New Year's Eve. Wait, please don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. What? You were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else to be on New Year's. Are you serious? I'm out here busting my ass, making collections. Oh, well, look at you. So big and important. At least I'm not drunk. Hey, I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. And look at me now. Still gorgeous. Keep telling yourself that. so gorgeous. And keep it up, and your only drink's gonna be when they wash your grave. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. You're back! Why'd you do me like that? Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. Heck, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Huh? What happened? I don't know the details, but you know how soaplands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it! Ichi! Perfect timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? The toilet's all clogged up and we can't find a plunger anywhere. A, a plunger? Yeah. That thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. 
Yeah, I know what it is, but come on! We're Yakuza, not your handyman! Well, excuse me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. I was a baby! Huh. You had accidents until fifth grade! One time! And my stomach was killing me that day! A toilet plunger? Yeah. If you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. <sighs> you think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure, you'd be their gopher for a while. But that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? Hey, I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Ah, itchy than any! Hey, look, the young master's the same age as me. He's not a kid. Young master? What is this, the 18th century? Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey, try saying one more word about Arakawa and see what happens. Hey, Aniki. Yo, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yup. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. I know that. What is our next job, anyway? It's a shakedown. Our mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. We thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity of the Arakawa family is riding on us. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Hey, by the way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him up. All right, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Meet me over there, okay? All right. Oh, Aniki. Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. That's Hiratsuka. <laughs> that dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. Hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to powerbomb other kids, as long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> You ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here. Cause we're Yakuza. 
See, Yakuza orders are mandatory, and my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you, I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. Be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? <sighs> Quit jabbering, and let's do this. Come on! I'm up to the you scared? Check this out! Come on now! That's how you do it! You're still pretty strong. But not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Aniki! What? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, Mitsu. Hey, Hariki! What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off if we just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamaracho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. <clears throat> oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up within two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finished up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir. So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh, no! I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. Uh, I'll kill time until then. Where 
to see. Hey, miss! Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? for a sec. Uh, um, okay. and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how... how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. Young master? Young master! <laughs> Masato-san? Oh my goodness! Are you all better? I can't believe it!
Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. What the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Use some normal ass words! You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. They can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san! You spoil us! Thank you! Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young Master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. 
That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masajo-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? Ichiban means the best, but I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How... how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, we'd have to ask you, Minol. Oh, she'd kill us for sure, but I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horino Uchi-san, wait! Uh, please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you, he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. 
I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze them dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Young master, how long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Good. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. All the money's there, including interest. Uh -huh. Wow, excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> this bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? <clears throat> there. There is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you? Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! <sighs> You have pride when you can't earn for the family? <laughs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. Not for a Yakuza anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. If 
If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. <laughs> Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. You saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? I don't know. He hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that. But it's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people. Not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsun. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? F fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Going silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was... I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, 
back and it was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me, for bringing shame to the Patriarch. Uh, to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Try to blend into the crowd. They're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. What for baby in a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry! Put the baby in a locker! Okay. Take good care of him. Akane. Hey! There she is! That's her! Go, go, go! Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Shit! Get you out! Damn it! 
Open, you piece of shit! Open! Should we call the police? Yeah. This is my child. Hey, are you okay? Damn it! Move! Move! I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Why, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there's something I've always wanted to tell you, even if only by oath. I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Well... Seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh! Gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm-hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep, but I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere. Ah, seriously? Hey, you guys open? We need Peking Duck! Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home, waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it, though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time! <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. 
Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. Now, what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. My mom worked at Soaplands, and even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the Soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham-bam thank you, ma'am. Can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working class folks. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. Well, what? N never! You're everything I want to be! You're like a god! <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my father... After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy. A Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. 
I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Araki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right, then. Let's go, you little shit. Uh, I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? How can I think... Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I'd begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! <laughs> How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! It had been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Man, that Oden is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. It's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop!
Stop it! <laughs> you came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me! It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. Whoa. Just wait till you see what I can do! Show me what you got! You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on! At least thank the boss! It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> You too. Man, he's such a badass. Now I wouldn't mind another drink. You have to wake up. Wake up, now. <clears throat> oh, shit. Fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. It's gone. Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now. I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. 
try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. It's me, Ichiban. Boss? Good morning. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday boy. What's up with you? Are you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. The new Year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Um, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. meal as a free man for a while. <laughs> Screw it. Yo, hit me with one more! Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl! It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan. I could have merely expelled you, but this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. 
The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. <laughs> Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stalling. Come back soon. Ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. We find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. Completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. and get back on the outside quick and easy? <laughs> Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <laughs> Not much to say, huh? Hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh, man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Buster, I'll kill you! <laughs> Try your best, little bitch. Oh, you fucking...
Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. They were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. <laughs> I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> That's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything.
Uh, you really thought the welcome wagon was coming? Hmm? Uh, of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only naturally you'd be a bit mixed up. <laughs> Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got, waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa police. A detective? I used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Huh. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamurocho, after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Dojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamuro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow, you're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great. Whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What the... Whatever. Do what you want, man. Uh, miss... I don't want to insult you, but... What... did you do to my hair? I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? you going for, man? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal, anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so... Who killed him? 
You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I've been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. <laughs> what are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, the jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle? <laughs> well? is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <sighs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! Cool. You're getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Kasuga! Hey, fellas. We're sorry, okay? Well, my friend here, he's... He's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Arakawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! He recognized me. You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Uh, no way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. Well, he definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. 
No, he didn't! But I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave! And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi Chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. Well, I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third-string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamracho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? Ugh, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Harakawa-san defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So, you don't believe me? 
No way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? You know, I think about it. That guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> You do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa, yeah? I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. But come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <sighs> Kamrocho, obviously! Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho! Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar it was a computer store. Before that it was a maid cafe, and before that... A uh, Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A uh, family? Not a family family. I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. 
That's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Oh, finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. Ah, <sighs> not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. the old woman oh you mean the previous owner <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now oh i see uh, hey do you know where the arakawa family office is if, if you're not making a purchase i should help the customer behind you i just want to know where the arakawa office is hey some of us got places to be do the usual Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez. Oh, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying, out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait... Were you and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers got stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already! So, see the blue Zelda scared? Cool. Blue thing in. Check this out! Son really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Uh, yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? 
Get back here! Oh, <laughs> Excuse me.
Thanks. See ya. Hey.
Hm? Strong. We're gonna remember your face, dick! I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist! <laughs> oh yeah, these picks are go for a fortune! <laughs> Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up! your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamalop. Kamalop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamarocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being the local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. Not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, a young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh-huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? Hmm. Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt, but... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't? Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. 
You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became... watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! But... Th then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? <sighs> I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamurocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. And some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. That's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before, the Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi Alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. Then we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. And everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. And you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, then I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have 
as if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san, is that it? Congrats, you solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, for your information, tonight Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting of local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... Um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Uh, Harkawa-san once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it! This is Harkawa-san trying to contact me! Huh? Wait, wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there! At a place that meant something to me and him! Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here, period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you! It doesn't even matter. What's important is, I can finally talk to him! Okay, first of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here. Take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. Okay, so remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? Great. adachi sons not even here. I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. Remember what I said? You deal with business the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. Take pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman can tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao! Wow. Tip. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly-looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly-looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure. Yes. Why don't you simply call this person? 
Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Uh, wait. How do you call someone on this thing? There's no buttons. Oh, a bit behind the times, aren't you? Hey, here, allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Shit, he only found me. Huh? Nico got a you cravat wearing fuckwad. When are you gonna do right by us? And who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girls' bar. Successful, my ass! It barely makes any money! You need to make this right, you shyster! Ah, oh, now that is strange. It certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month! Girls keep quitting, not enough customers! I can't even pay the electric bill! <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. Fuck you say? Uh-uh. This is a crap business when you pawned it off on me. You better buy it back now! <laughs> you are a funny guy. Asshole. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give an arrest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. I get you got business with him. Like, get in line. You get in line! Hey, wait just a second. That ugly red suit and that scruffy ass hair! Yeah? Remember what Anaki said? How there was a Tojo loyalist around here? It's supposed to look just like this guy, down to the moppy hair! Sick asshole. Enough about my hair! Ah, so you're an aggressive type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr. What was it? Nico Gata, this is about to get ugly. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay me in smartphone lessons. Sound good? <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping. And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair. So, show me what you got. Yeah. Looks painful. So, in all honesty, did you sell them a crappy business or not? I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale. A wonderful little property. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. They were only asking for a measly hundred thousand a month, man. You wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I, I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou? I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thou. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. Exactly. And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. 
You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So, are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck that, I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit. Fine, I'll buy it back from you. But for half of what you paid me. Fuck you! But fine, take it, I don't care anymore. <sighs> I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? <laughs> that means number one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help... Yes, you want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? Wow, I actually feel like I can make use of this thing now. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. Ah, uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh my, you are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh, yeah? You might say I associate with people who have, well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. <laughs> Bad news for me if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. Guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? I just might. You'll find me to be a very persistent man. Hey there, Kasuga. Who is that guy? Oh, my first pen pal, I guess. Huh? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef ball. I ordered an extra large one, and... Ooh, it was a struggle. <laughs> Guess I'm getting old. Aren't we all? But here I am, about to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well, hope you're ready. you're doing here wake up we got intruders get them hey man you, get you don't you think you stand a chance cool come on now let's go going in Damn. 
some time. Go on ahead. Go! The dodge is on! Just go! I'll catch up when I can, okay? Get moving! <laughs> Captain Sawashiro. Oh, Ichi. It's been a while. When'd you get out? Come on. I know you don't care when I got out. <laughs> Sounds like prison made you into a pessimist. You should have called us. We would have sent someone to pick you up. I wouldn't have wanted a ride from anyone wearing an Omi badge. Where were you when the boss turned traitor? Watch your tongue, Ichi. He only did what anyone else would have done in times like these. But you're right. Even if the Tojo clan still existed, no one would have come to pick you up. You do realize that, right? Because if you remember, you were banished from the clan. Look, I'm not actually that hung up about the ride. And yeah, I remember the banishment. So what do you want? Did you come to beg for money? You know, I thought you might be grateful. Did you forget who spent 18 years eating prison slop in your place? Oh, I'm very aware of what you did. But you're not aware of what's happening tonight. What? It's a very important event for the boss. I can't risk one of his former grunts ruining it. So the choice is yours. Leave like a good boy, or die here. I'm going through that door and talking to my boss. <laughs> you know, I really forgot how seeing your stupid face always made me want to kill you. I thought the same thing about you. Every time you hit me for no reason. Well, it's been 18 long years. About time one of our dreams came true. Sounds good. Just don't bitch and moan about it afterwards. Time for me to die. Scared? Cool. Check this out. <laughs> Let's go! 
Sure enough, British. The captain's got that freakish aura around him, and he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. Cool. Check this out. What you're doing once you go through that door there's no turning back Ichi are you sure you're ready for that 18 years I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for 18 years that's long enough <laughs> this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. <laughs> Boss, please just tell me. Why'd you do it? here no nothing serious no need for you to worry boss in fact it's going as planned <gasps> I'm sorry Ichi you have to die Sunshine. You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. Go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? Uh. By the way, you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? Nah, he's alive. Hey! Oh man, I lost the bet. I'll have to pay you later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, 
Couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. What was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, being that it's your fault and all, I'm just wondering if you could cover my bet for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? I'm not sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. I need gas. Find me a big can of that, and I'll give you a fish. Aw, oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a catch. I'll find you some gas, so you better save me a big one. <laughs> a big one. Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, first of all, where the hell are we? This is Eugene Cho. Eugene Cho? Eugene Cho. Isazaki Eugene Cho. Yokohama. Don't you know Yokohama? <sighs> Yokohama? Why am I in Yokohama? Hell if I know. It's been three days since I found you. I got woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. When I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first. But lucky for you, it turned out you only had one foot in the grave. And you've been what? Nursing me back to health? As best I can. But as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. Tough as nails, and you're lucky as hell. The bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and it went clean out the back. One hair to the left, and you would have been a goner. Damn. Well, thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. You're making it sound more noble than it is. What? I only helped because if you died here, it would have meant trouble. What trouble? Where there's a dead body, there's cops. And where there are cops, there are questions. So what? Well, then the media comes charging in, cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? Or are you as dumb as you look? <sighs> We're not exactly supposed to be living here. I don't like using the term, but we're squatters, basically. Whoa. Plus, everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage, that blows their hiding place. You get it now? Yeah. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm sorry, Ichi. I don't exactly... have one. Huh? Listen. I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. We're leeches. That's our world. It's a world where dozens of us crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many expired bentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to eat. You don't want that, we don't want that. Get out of here. Fine. <sighs> Guess I should have expected that. Your wound isn't healed all the way. And you haven't walked for three days. It's no wonder you're weak. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. A little bit. Thanks. Under all that hard-ass talk, you're actually a decent guy. No, I'm not. I just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. But still, I owe you one. <sighs> well, can't argue with you there. So... Where do we start? Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang around here fussing over you. And since you're staying, 
You gotta do what I say. Okay, sure. What's your name? Ichiban. Ichiban Kasuka. Huh. That's pretty paranoid of you using a fake name. And again, you wouldn't be the first guy living here to do that. You got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like... <sighs> That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? Um... Sorry about that, Ichiban. <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N-A-N-B-A. <laughs> Let me guess. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? I hope you're not broke. Uh, you're about to be disappointed then. <sighs> well, in that case, you're gonna have to start earning. I'll teach you how. Why do I need money all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? Actually, I just remembered you'll have to get the Chief's permission to stay. The Chief? He's been here a long time. Sort of maintains the peace. Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. Uh, you gotta get his okay. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe if you ask me. Call it whatever you want. You need it. The Chief doesn't accept freeloaders. If you don't work, or if you're a liar or a cheat, you're out. So, if you want his blessing, you have to work your butt off, make some money, to prove you really want to be here. Got it? I get it. But you never said how I should make the money. I'll get you going. Luckily, we've got some daylight left. All right, here we go. Here we go where? I said I'd teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. <laughs> this is what you do for money? Kinda lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here is a sure way to starve to death. Wait, I think I found a 500 yen coin. Oh, that fast? Oh yeah, it's my lucky day. up just to have them crushed. All right, now it's your turn. Go check underneath the other vending machines. Trash cans, too. Sometimes people throw away stuff that we can sell. I'm on it. Cool. I'm gonna head back to camp. Come find me when you're done. And don't wander far. There are a lot of dangerous dudes in this town. All right, then. Good luck, rookie. I tried, but this was all I found. Hey, Chief. This is the guy I was telling you about. And? What do you want, boy? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh, if you're refusing to take it, does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes. 
They do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. Thank you. I swear to you, I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was, until recently. Actually, I guess it wasn't all that recent. Hmm. What's your story? Patriarch shot someone who served 18 years in prison for him. That's an interesting tactic. Must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe how I feel. Here. Thanks. Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Huh? Uh, sure. <clears throat> That's good. It's Ijin Cho style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Uh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. You oversleep, I'll ditch your ass. Okay, I get it, I get it. I'll be there. What's up? Huh? Yes. since I rode one of these. Well, this is no ordinary bike. It's custom made for recycling. Three wheel, too, so you won't fall over. If you haven't ridden in a while, why not take her out for a quick spin?
You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Okie doke, she's all yours. Go take a lap around and see what you can scrounge up. You'll find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice? Stick to pedaling in a straight line and you can't go wrong. All right, I'll give it a shot. Ah, uh, here we go. Huh? What the heck is that? Hell yeah! Watch me haul ass on this thing! Well, hope I don't crash and eat shit, though. Oh, look, more cans. What's up with those guys? No way. They're after the cans, too? Guess I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. So, you get used to it yet? I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing the same thing. Yeah, I bet they were. The homeless here in town are always on the prowl for anything salvageable. Gotta bust your butt to earn your bread. Sheesh. Even among the homeless, it's survival of the fittest. My advice? Someone comes chasing after you, scram. Otherwise, you ram into them as hard as you can and take what they got first. So I gotta take the initiative. I'm good at that. Gloves are off from this point. Collect as many cans as possible and come back here within the time limit. Consider your reward gone if you're even a second late. I ain't one to waste time. So I gotta be back at this parking structure before time's up. Got it. More cans means a better haul. But what's the point of hoarding if it all goes to waste? Wouldn't want that. Anyway, let's see what you got. Money! Time to get paid! That's the mark! New record? Yes, I can! What a haul! Ah, well done. Time to get you set up with some eco points. Eco points? Yeah, what you get for turning in cans. Brilliant idea, if you ask me. You can exchange these eco points for cash, food, or whatever kind of junk you want. That's quite a system we've got there. Well, the fiat currency is complicated. So you gotta factor in tax rates, supply and demand, all kinds of nonsense. And for what? For people like us, a point system works best. We like regular money, but without the greedy middleman. Huh. To be honest, I prefer regular money. Collected quite a bit. You're pretty good for a beginner. Okay, after taking out my lecture fee, here's what's left. Jeez, what a life. Oh, before I forget, you're better off swapping your eco points for commodities rather than money. Who's farther that way? Got it. Anyway, this lovely little parking structure here is the place I call home. Whenever you feel like collecting cans or exchanging eco points, come find me and I'll lend you my bike. Will do, Consock. I guess I'll see you later.
Let it go. I work my ass off. But my take is pathetic. That's homeless life for you. But I know you tried, so I'll give you some food. Just for today, though. You sure? <laughs> Can't have you collapsing from hunger. The bakery got rid of their extra bread today, so I went and got some. Beggars can't be choosers. Bread rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can't be choosy. Whoa, I ain't complaining. I love bread rolls, actually. Yeah? Hell yeah. In prison, all we had was barley rice. Every single day. But once a week, they gave us bread rolls. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? It's just plain ass bread. That plain assery is what makes it good. See, nothing's plain about prison. Everything's shit. The smell, the walls, and especially that nasty rice mush. But the taste of plain bread, that was the taste of the outside world. Well, here. Take a nice big bite of the outside world. Thanks, man. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, that's the stuff. I gotta say, you're an interesting guy. Shit! The collectors are here! Earlier than usual. Time to pay your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Who's this fool? Zhang, a money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Why well, you gotta pay him? Is this his land or something? No, but it's been the rule since before I was here. You don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Trust me, I want to punch the guy in the face every time I see him. But the chief says we gotta pay. He does? I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? A Chinese mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You don't want them as your enemy. You'll end up dead. <laughs> mafia my ass. I'll get this guy out of your hair. Pay you back for helping me. No, don't try anything. The chief already has a deal worked out with them. We need to do what the chief wants. But... Just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? 2,000 yen? No, not even close. Damn it. And I only have enough to cover myself. Look, you better hide in there. And I'll think up an excuse. Whatever happens, don't move. <sighs> Fine. Chan, as business. Good? Is it ever good when you're homeless? Oh, no. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day must be nice. You're right. Sorry. Number. Does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. 
People like you don't get to have privacy. <laughs> Stop! Don't open it! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, Namba. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life! Get your hands off him! Ah, uh, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you who doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. Put up your goddamn fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Don't try to stop me, Namba-san. Stop you? Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass! <laughs> Come on, Namba! This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore! <laughs> All right, let's do this! You'll be sorry! Like fish in a barrel. Okay. No, let's Fuck go! Me. Have fun with this. Cool. Check this out. I'm in my own. Crap. Not so hard. Ready? We're in it now. Yeah. You're done. Come, my winged friends. I'm in the Yokohama Leomang. You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great, but you talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'd give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you want to live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you. We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama. Trust me, your buddies are shitting themselves. They know what's coming. Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking! No, seriously, when should we expect them? 
When are you gonna tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that bored. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Shit. Namba, I'll deal with your panty ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. Shut up. This isn't even Liu Mang Tur. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Zheng Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go! Hey, bring us something to eat next time, would you? That was way out of line. No, we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> you pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. He's not really that mad at you. I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. I'm sure most of the guys here would agree with me. We should be thanking you. No, oh, you don't have to thank me. I gotta say, you're a professional at pissing people off. Huh? Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not, but then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. Well, I never thought about it like that before. So hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? Red shoes. Left with foreigners on a steamship from Yokohama, ever to be seen again. So here we go. The Zheng guy was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Liumang. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, the Komichu. And of course, there's the Japanese Yakuza. They're called the Seiryu clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance? Are you kidding? No, they've always been independent, and they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Ejin Show? Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance would try? The Ejin Three offer the town protection from outside forces, in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Ejin Three work together to keep people from getting over this wall? Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. They're always at each other's throats.
Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. Guess you could call this a cold war. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, cold war is like a powder keg. Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So, as long as this cold war is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. They can all be pretty vicious. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Aging Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Everyone knows that. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. Scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. That was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. The place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. I guess. I don't know how long I can just hang around in Eugene show, though. Well, go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! 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 What the hell was that for? You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration! idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine! Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you teachy John, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just clean you off a bit. Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? What's wrong? Oh, look at this. The back of it is blank, but I think it's just stupid play money. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? Well, they wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? Oh, dumbass. It means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Oh, what? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spit it already, man. Come on. Obviously. Now cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait, wait. 
Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill has a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it too? But look, it doesn't. And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. I don't know why I got dumped here. And I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing. Throw it away and stop causing trouble. You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Eh, uh, Nanbasan. Don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? I'll make you a deal. You take it easy, I won't start any more trouble. We good? stay here but I thought you had nowhere else to go well, I don't but anywhere would be better than here what I walked around all damn day and what good did that do I mean there's got to be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this there's just got to be yeah probably well if you think so too but Let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who can give us a reference? How about a resume? Oh, hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man, easier said than done. Listen up, everyone. Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys, why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to Hello Work? Eh? Sounds like a big fat no, but you're all perfectly healthy. I've seen some of you build shit. I've seen some of you cook. You have skills. So why are you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it. Come on. You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you. Shut the fuck up. Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah. No. You said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on. You still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families, who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? <sighs> and some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids, hoping we'll come back. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, we can't. Not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to hello work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But 
You said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? It doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try, anyway. So, I'll come with you to Hello Work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter. I didn't think there'd be so many people. Young ones, too. How old are you? 42. What about you? 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. Passion. Oh, passion, sure. I'm telling you, you're ready to work. You know what, these other losers? <sighs> Matsuo-san, I can smell the liquor on you. To be considered for a placement being sober is mandatory. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. Next, please. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready and able. You left your current residence blank. Because... I don't have one right now, but I'm committed to working, and I don't drink, by the way. Well, normally you need an address, but I think we can make an exception. So, I'm hired? Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but uh, I don't have an address for that either, actually. Have you always lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center, then. What's that? It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. But, wait. I don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. Please, ma'am! I'll work really hard! I'm sorry. That's our policy, sir. Next, please! Wait, hold on a minute. I need to... Get out of the way! So, did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door, he closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows? We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Oh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. This was such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive. Fishing. Don't get salty yet. You can figure this out. Hey. Either of you guys looking for work? Yeah. Tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing a suit. <laughs> a filthy one. But hey, thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Huh? I'm not the one hiring. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? Bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Pretty good money, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Want to check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Hmm? Don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. I'm just filling a gap in the market. You are a loose cannon, Director. Hmm? 
Excuse me. We were told about this joint by an old guy hanging around Hello Work. Huh? Hello Work? Oh yeah, that was my doing. Told Kambe over there to recruit a couple of guards. Hamako-san, don't do things like that without asking me. I'm not made of money. 5,000 yen for a man to risk his life is a hell of a deal. I'm just amazed Kambe found two guys who took it. Hey, wait a second. We never said anything about risking our lives. What is this job exactly? I'll explain everything. Come over here, boys. You see all these restaurants on the river? They're all bars, just like ours. We've all been getting hit by thieves for decades now. Burglars? Nope. These thieves don't steal physical items or money. They steal electricity. What? How do they do that? Look over there at those wires. Those aren't public electric lines. The thieves strung those up ages ago. Do you know who they are? Wait, I've heard about this. Shit, it's the Komi Jewel. Uh, what's the Komi Jewel again? They're one of the Ejin Three, the Korean Mafia. Mm. And didn't you say how they got their name earlier? Yeah, it's not their official name. It's the neighborhood where they're headquartered. Well, it's still kind of hard to say, if you ask me, but I guess I see how they got it. Mm-hmm. They've been jacking our electricity for such a long time. I'm sick of them getting away with it. Each month it costs the bars here tens of thousands of yen. Each and every bar is forced to pick up the tab, and they don't reimburse us. Here's a solution. Why not just call the police? I mean, it seems obvious. Tell the cops exactly who's robbing you. They'd leap at the chance to take down a crime faction. I'm sure she has a good reason for not calling it in. Am I right? Of course. Whatever the reason, this kind of stuff is why we have cops. The police wouldn't touch Komichua with a ten-foot pole. The area is too dangerous, even for them. I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive is how we're talking. <laughs> you gotta be exaggerating. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody. Yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ejin gangs are willing to go there now. The place is a graveyard. Okay, well, do you know anyone in the Kumi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. They gotta leave sometime. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you, Yakuza. There's no way to recognize them. Out of the Ejin 3, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. We just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. You want another idea? I got one. Cut your power, Grams. I can't do that, and I shouldn't have to. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on, there's gotta be something we can do. Ichiban, let's forget this. Seriously, we don't need money that bad. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut, I mean. To be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. What? You got a screw loose, lady? I, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. Oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday, I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Just left it lying in the dirt. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's what I hired you guys to figure out. Oh, you can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open the bar this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. 
What'll happen if you just... don't? You think their message might be an empty threat? The thing is, if it's not, we won't know they're attacking until the last moment. Because we don't know what they look like. Plus, no way is it an empty threat. Look, lady, I get how your bar must be very important to you, and you don't want to close it. But this is insane. Oh, no, this isn't even my bar. I'm just the barfly who buzzes around here the most. I wanted guards because I'm worried about Mama here. What? So you don't even have real skin in the game? You should start minding your own business. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Casca, let's go. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Please forgive us. Hey, what are you gonna do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. You be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <laughs> the job still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah, I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Beggars can't be choosers, you said. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help somebody out. See? Now that's the right attitude. I could tell you were a good guy. Unlike some people. <sighs> you old battle axe. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. But wait a damn minute. We? You're roping me into this? Look, if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Uh, do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine. I'll do it. Is everybody happy now? Good. So it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Now how about rustling up a drink for me? Their whole setup is creepy as hell. It looks like tentacles. Why do they need so much electricity anyway? I have no idea. Whoa, easy, Tiger. You trying to get wasted? Dude, we're risking our lives for a measly 5,000 yen. Chill out, man. I'm probably not gonna die. Probably, so... Well, I'm glad one of us is taking this seriously. It's hitting me for the first time how spooky the Komijo are. Hiding their faces. But then again, they've also stayed hidden in their headquarters for freaking decades now. I don't see them coming out to this bar. Not for one power cable. So, you think the note was an empty threat? I think they assumed we'd obey. They know people are terrified of them. They know that for damn sure. Most people would have done whatever was written on that cinder block, no question. But Komichu must have believed that too. I doubt they actually plan to show up tonight and break kneecaps or something. But what'll happen when they check the cable and see that they didn't scare us into doing it? I mean, maybe it'll just throw another brick or whatever. Then what happens after that? We basically decided we're never hooking it back up, right? How long are they gonna let that slide? Well, if that's the logic, what are we still doing here? Let's walk away. Let's just tell these women it was an empty threat and get out of here. I can hear you over there. Damn. She has good ears for an old bat. Quiet. What is it? There's someone out there. I don't see anyone. I swear, I saw... Whoa! <laughs> Thank you. 
You're making us jumpy for no reason, man. Good evening. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Namba, that's the guy who was at Hello Work. Sure is. Guess he's here to spend money while he's unemployed. Typical, isn't it? We'll send you. Hey, hey, wait. Leave me the fuck alone. Why'd you attack us? I was hired to. Some guy said they paid me a million yen to wreck that bar. Were they Korean mafia? They were, weren't they? I don't know. I'd never seen them before. They just came up to me in the park. I, I was drinking and minding my own business. But hey, I wasn't about to turn down an easy mill. And you? Don't even think about getting between me and that money. Scared? Yeah. Yeah? That would be good. Come on. your name? I saw you in line at Hello Work. I remember what it was. Matsuo, right? <laughs> What's it to you? Listen, buddy. You didn't really think they'd give you a million yen, did you? Just for trashing a place? You think they were scamming me? Do you expect anything else from the Korean Mafia? You do know that's who hired you, right? <laughs> yeah? Makes you say that. They're the only ones who would want that bar messed up in the first place. Look, we're trying to help you. There's no way in hell they're gonna pay a million to some drunk bum. <laughs> like you're an expert. Hey, what did he look like? The guy who asked you to do this. Did you see his face? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. Come on, we're not fucking around. Cut it out, Namba. If you really want to know, ask the bitch. Bitch. Wait! Ichiban, don't chase him! Stop! They'll kill you if you go on their turf! Did you see that? He was smiling. Yeah. I'm starting to think he wasn't hired by the Gomiju. No way. He was a member. Shit. This is going from bad to worse. I'm still stuck on the bitch thing. You think there's a woman in the Comey Jewel? How would I know? Anyone could be a bitch these days. Hey, look. What are we gonna do? Okay. It's all or nothing. Hey! Call me Jewel! Hey, what are you doing? It doesn't matter to me one bit if that guy was one of your own, or just a clueless bum! But you have him back now! Then why not let us go? And you won't have our bodies to dispose of! What you and I both know is a huge pain in the ass! Would you stop? By the way, you know your little power cable? 
We couldn't because it was like tying a noose around that poor bar's neck. If you hang him with it and they close down, you won't be getting that power anyway. So you need to give it up. You're the one who needs to give up. Look, you guys are real ass mafia, right? You shouldn't be doing small time shit like stealing electricity. So cut it out. Fine. I don't care anymore. We're dead. Are you satisfied? What? No way. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, guys. Hey, we're good here. Come on. Is this guy for real? Okay. You're here. Morning, ma'am. Get up. We're closing for a few hours. a bit more Hamako-san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. How many customers did you get yesterday? 
I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Damn, it's too damp to even dust this thing. Hey, Chiban. Can you deal with these tissues? You do it. It's your job. <sighs> Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. <sighs> you want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. all the racket. Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Prostitution's got to go! Leave now! Get out of Eijin Cho! Get out! What's Bleach Japan? It's a non-profit group. What you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is, Bleaching the Gray Zone's White. You know how some things fall into the gray area, neither black nor white? Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just full of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Rio Aoki. And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh... Comrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Aoki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor. But they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant, but you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea, you pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is, a brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple, happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant? I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors! You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy. And that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone! 
There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother. I never minded it. Huh? You all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is. Get ready to catch. Wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! Not bad, Ichiban. Sup? True. Oh yeah? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Hold on.
Hey. So got. I'd be so strong. Uh, whatever. I'll see you around, Grandpa. You kids have a lot of spunk. Why don't you use it to help your parents for once? I never thought Bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing. Bunch of dreamers. They really think they can bleach the gray zones? Come on. <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose. But all they really want are donations. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bully. <sighs> Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Hold on a minute. Hmm? Two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the offer out of complete stuff. If you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple buns living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Till Bleach Japan finds someone else to borrow. You got it. Thanks a lot. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> look, Ichiban. A roof. A real roof. <laughs> yeah, look, man. It's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls. And a soft throne. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm pretty sure it's not water. 
Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? Then again, I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <laughs> hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? <laughs> I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. The money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license, if that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? Weren't you the one just telling me I could turn it all around and find something? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. <sighs> Life is work. Hmm. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh... Oh... <laughs> you really want to know? Come on, don't build it up. Spit it out. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. Like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> the video game? <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. <laughs> it's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But... If the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? You see what I'm saying? Leveling up in life. That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah. Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes. Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home. Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow. Cheers! Let me go. I swear, I'll tear that fucking bar down. Look, I know I messed up. I, I don't even want the money anymore. J just give me another chance. How about this? 
I could kill the two guys who got in the way. I already know how to do it. Oh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Don't you? You got to go to the hospital. I got to go to the hospital. I got Wait, I didn't catch that. I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Chugona. <laughs> know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I uh, lost my job. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Well, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah, I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Well, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, I can't say I cared much about the phone. Well, sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. Get it? Uh... Kind of? <laughs> You know, you never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering, assault, interference with a public servant. Guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant it all got dropped. Ah, uh, was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamrocho. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa. The only person I know of with ties to the Commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. I 
at least up until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. You need more self-respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the Commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors. A guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. Now before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well... All of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why'd he backtrack like that? He was coerced by the chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo Police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kasumi was convicted and sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So, everybody who can is always trying to get transferred. Especially the higher-ups. Rats, leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way back when I was a young rookie. So, I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the Public Security Division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day, and next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Horinouchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Now, if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa- Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh shit, that's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? I'm as unemployed and broke as you now. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. I didn't save a yen. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. Even as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. <laughs> they let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Come on, let's get over to Hello Work already. Hmm? 
<laughs> Sup? What's up? Guys, freaking transform? Huh? What are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Come back to Earth. Hmm? No one else sees this? Well, whatever. <laughs> At least it's more fun for me. Cool. Point of shaking down guys as broke as us. For real though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? 
I, I swear, they freaking transform! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. You know, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. It makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, fellow adventurers. Our great journey has begun. Oh, sure, Mr. Hero. Lead on to the bountiful coppers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, <clears throat> meta medicinal herbs. Yeah, we need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Please take one. Huh? Hey, what you got there? Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Whoa, hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on! First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes! Thank you! You are the very first. So this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right. And uh, you're you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Ooh, you're most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out for this first free collar thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Wait, you're sending someone to me? Like, not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meet-up deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? No, really, I swear. The sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? Oh, what the? Who the heck are you? Are you, uh, Adaki-sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is is that the sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey! You shitheads are making way too much noise! That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh! A handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. Show me what you got. Yeah. Get a lie. Get serious. Time to call a friend. I summon you. You want sudden death 
or sons of Christ's. In service with the founding. Thanks for calling Pound Mates. That's how you do it! Holy shit! They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? <laughs> We're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then, goodbye. just happened here fuck if i know man why has it got to be so hard to get laid hound mates huh well it ain't free and i'm not sure it's sexy but i think i can see the appeal <laughs> Okay. Yanda. Hold on!
Yes. No. Thanks. Hey. Hi, Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, 
Go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better, okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. <sighs> hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <sighs> this is Seiryu clan territory? Well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Well, uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Yeah, but what about those two? Uh... Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichi Cho!
Okay.
Okay. No. Oh.
Damn, it's full. Hey, look over there. That's Nanaha. Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh. I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. Let's see the transaction go down. Somehow I got two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you ten days from now, we can carry out the procedure. But maybe we don't need to. Deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. I want Dad to have peace. But does it have to be? That's true, but you shouldn't cheap out. After all, don't you see the that's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's... Oh? <laughs> First timer, huh? Give him money. It was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nano Hassan's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. Oh, hey! Ow! Uh, uh, 
I'm sorry. Hey, old man. Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how are you gonna make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Go. Yeah. Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so... We know Nanoha's been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. But then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mokoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. Truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so... I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place.
they charge 5 million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Mm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the Excellent Course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. But here I thought you were just a huge asshole. <laughs> I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. 
There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this. We can save Nanoha's father. Hey, Sunny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Nanba. <sighs> How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant, and just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, listen, Granny, let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Bukoda. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old, has a daughter. Oh, what time are we having breakfast? Uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh. Here is fine. Thank you, officer. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system, and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you'd let your mother drink out of them. Put some elbow grease into it for goodness sake. Stop slacking off. Why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Mm, doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they ask, but... I bet it's all about your family and social standing. Rumor has it, the program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? <sighs> no, because how are we supposed to do that? Well, obviously, they're gonna have their best security on the excellent course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there, 
You need one of the full timers keycards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! Yes, ma'am, right away. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. That's what you need in a place this big. You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's, uh, off-limits to us contractors. Oh, damn it! I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. Okay. Okay. Hold on.
What was that? No. Yo. What?
Hey. Yeah. Three million left to go then. If you just remit that amount, ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Hold on. Uh-huh. Sure.
This the place you're a regular at? Yep. Oh. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine. Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, <laughs> I guess it is, now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab? <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Uh, you mind, though? I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. Hey. What's up with Namba? Can we barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only gonna be worse. But you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh yeah? Now you must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha-chan. That was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear. Huh? <laughs> Yo, Adachi-san. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender love and care.
Sure, I don't mind bringing my own booze, but I wouldn't be hiding it. But then the bartender might find you out. Eh, I'd take the risk. I don't want to bother with trying to hide a drink while I'm having fun. Wish I could be so carefree. <laughs> well, now I have to buy you a drink, pal. That's what carefree people do. Hey, thanks. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Horinouchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, it was a nasty one. Robbery and double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. Man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet, burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. The kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's always a chance that the relatives will lie in the hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. And I was too, at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kusumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop, who told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horonouchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Horinouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I'd believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man. But couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> You know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit, but it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> anyway. Let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? Well, it's about that time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Sorry, Iroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. 
You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure, make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen, take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the holdup? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. This isn't break time. On to the next bathroom! You're even slower than yesterday! I'm going! I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor! Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia. Here we go. You know... Most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? Koda, this is Nanoha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. Damn. I didn't waste any time. What are you doing here? Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourselves now. Hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. I bet you've got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms. Since you're from the Seiryu clan. Hmm. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Oh, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Grab her dad and get the hell out of here. Hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit.
Do you know what it does? They use it overseas for executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? And that must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. That's the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now, or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! You're welcome to try. But that would require you to walk out of here alive. And killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies! you guys don't make me say it again let all the residents go I'm afraid I just can't do that then we'll do it we'll move them all out <laughs> oh, shit it won't open I activated the emergency lockdown. 
That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want, but if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe a word, I'll kill you! So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So, you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe, some things you didn't, too. I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza. You accept consequences for your actions. So... Does this mean we have to go? Uh, I don't see any guards. That's because no one is stupid enough to try and raid the Serio clan. <laughs> You set us up. We never grant entry to anyone from other factions. That gate drops like a cattle chute if someone walks through without giving the correct signal. Then, we take our time with the slaughter. Whatever their rank may be in their own herds, we don't give a shit. Where's the chairman? Upper floor somewhere? Perhaps. You'll never reach him. I won't let you get anywhere near his office. Oh, I was really hoping you'd seen the light. Guess we're back to using brute force, boys. I tell you, never a dull day with Ichiban. More people better put us in their wills for this. Bring it! So no mission apparent. Yeah. Huh? Don't get cocky. <laughs> Come on now! You wanna fight? Let's go! Let's go! Door's locked. This is a dead end. This is hold it. Good call. Open 
You're good, Namba. Coast is clear. Get making the first move and just see how it goes. Going in! Gonna make it to the German! Uh, uh, Holy shit! Hang on! I'll get you out of this! Bastard scurrying around. Time to get exterminated. Show me what you got. Come 
the likes of you learn to fight like that <sighs> who are you we're employees from your place of business Odohime land uh, you're from our own soap land we were helping nanoha mukoda a woman who works there we've been sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks home i told you we're doing what needs to be done I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit! You can't just twist the Yakuza code to suit yourself! That's being a fucking prick! Stop this. <laughs> Boss! Totska, what's happening here? <sighs> There was a dispute on our turf, and so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. A request? About Totska's business operation. Sunlight Castle? Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. Hmm? Uh, What's wrong? This guy had a strange looking bill on him. <sighs> yeah, I've had that for a while. No idea where it came from, though. Someone just put it in my pocket at some point. <sighs> what should we do? Nothing. It's just play money. You sure you don't want to tie a string around it? Hurts like a bitch if you don't. I suppose you would know, wouldn't you? Of course, after you made me lose two of them. Just give me the knife already, Captain. It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Komi Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it. 
but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomon. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuka, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. Thank you for telling me. I knew of its existence, of course. And I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home, run by Totsuka. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. It's gross that you're even calling it a business. Chairman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Hmm. Kasuga, was it? Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totsuka's secret business. But I have no need or desire for your opinion. But... He's murdering innocent people. Misfortune is often a side effect of profit. One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent, that is unavoidable in our line of work. <laughs> Agreed, boss. With that logic, you could justify anything, no matter how dishonorable. Totsuka. I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peacefully. You should realize. Sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Oh, yeah? What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself, and she approved it! That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway... I'm done playing teacher. <laughs> Totska! <laughs> Sir! Put it down. I don't need your finger. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. But that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Therefore... Takabe! Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? Show him what'll happen if he ever sets foot in here again. Oh, no. Chairman! Chairman! Kasuga. A Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. Our reputation is everything. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. 
Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. As scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. I'm sorry. I was starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. You're the old school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering what kind of Yakuza raised you like that. You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa. Of the Arakawa family. Ex Tojo clan. Arakawa? Yep. Although, when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> so, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, He's still the way a man ought to be. Arakawa. I'll remember that. Well, guess we should head back to the soap land. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So, that was a shocker. How Nanoha agreed to the euthanasia? I guess... You never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute, please. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle with me. I'm having Nanoha meet us there. What? Why? Just do it. Are you Nanoha Mukoda? Yes. We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yes. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for him. But the... the operation, wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. We deeply apologize and ask for your understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Huh? Hold up. What did you just say? They said... He'll die without the surgery. Uh, just double checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? Um, at the meeting, we.
Somehow I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain, but does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh. <laughs> First time, huh? Hey, if we can laugh about it, it must not be that bad, right? Huh? Uh, I guess. So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was a life-saving procedure. Damn, and we barely got to him in time. Nanohasa, let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again, and doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. <gasps> oh, really? Yes. Therefore, we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient our closure is to you. So, all money paid towards care after today's date will be refunded. But... what do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge, until you make other arrangements. Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. So, who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so much for detectives hunches. Hey, Adachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for our luck. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. Hmm. Hey, bit of advice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Now that you've got a fat wad of cash, maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care, right? Uh, yes. You don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. No worries. Go on and see your dad. I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. You know, seeing that smile, I can see why she was their most popular girl. <laughs> Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss. Hey, boss, we're back. It got pretty crazy back there, but you know what?
Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? Well, they got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. Then she went shopping. Yeah, she looked great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, uh, um... We don't... know you? No, you don't. I'm Saeko. All right, so is Saeko your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does i'm not for sale if that's what you're asking i'm a bartender at a cabaret club that nonomiya owned actually jeez he owned a cabaret club and a soap land yeah he may not have looked it but he was actually one of the top dogs in ijin cho's red light district now that he's gone i guess both my club and odohime land are probably going to shut down was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. 
but I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, none of you had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanua-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh. Yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait, what exactly did he say to you? You have your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho, I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys anyway? They're like... Uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, oh, hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Uh, hey, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa, hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come and tell you! Loma! That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. 
I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why'd they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their boss? His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. And they might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Siryu clan turf. The Ejin Three don't attack on each other's land. Well, they don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. <sighs> He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep, and milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it too. But don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. <sighs> but after she died, I just wanted out. Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? All my life, I felt pretty alone. But I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. Because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me. Even Nonomiya. 
Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. <laughs> it's so frustrating, because it's like... Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, grass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... That nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. <sighs> I can't do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Well, that's a bad sign. About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that settles it. Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Go. Got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir, did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? 
I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like hiring illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? Uh, huh? Huh? We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right. But be careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Hey. <laughs> okay. Got it. Ni hao, welcome. Ni hao, welcome. Ni hao, welcome. Whoa, <laughs> pretty nice way to be greeted. Unbelievable. Every single girl is sexy as hell. I, mean, I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on Restaurant Row. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. 
There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah! You've seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Get out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sachan! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! Well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot. I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh. So you wanna go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Uh, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor, helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Leomar! Get them where they stand. Throw their bodies into the base so the fish can eat them. Yes, yes sir! sir. die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader, then? 
Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will ya? I'm not an asshole. Could have fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker. Hey, bring the manager in here. I want to tell him how the honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the soap land? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu Plan turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, -uh. I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but you're Liu Meng. The Yokohama Liu Meng was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and jie jie. Hello and thank you. But you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brothers stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart. So he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. Wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <laughs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san. But I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shunned. Heh. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. 
Okay, so Yokohama trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. But I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey, guys. What if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zheng said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. But thanks for not being a prick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> uh. Hey. Yo. Got it. safe now. <sighs> Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home with Dachi-san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Uh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. <laughs> hey. 
Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Is this this? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijincho. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. Hey, Ichiban. Wanna grab a drink with me? Sure. But you really know how to knock him back, Sachan. Promise me you'll keep it to one or two. Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm gonna make a move on ya. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. So, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. <laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. More ex-boyfriends. Oh, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? Yeah. Well, at least things have simmered down among us recently. Thanks to you guys. My dad's in a real nursing home now, and Nanoha's looking for a more legit job like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, no. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but she never wants to meet in person. I'd like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. I'm listening. It's a boring story. Are you sure you want to hear it? That's right, you do. I don't care if it's so boring it puts history professors to sleep. As long as it's for Mew, I'm all ears. So I have your express permission to rant for the next ten hours, and you'll sit here and listen? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Thanks. Uh, so, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood. 
So I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about. Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like Mom. It's probably why Mom trusted me more than Dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. Pretty soon, I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after Mom died, even more so. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as control to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like you made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name dropping. There were a lot. I went too far, honestly. But you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, oh, but he's getting it together. He's starting a consulting firm. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. Even my freaking dad cried seeing all the drama. Oh, jeez. It was that intense? I think it always bothered him that he couldn't make enough money to help my mom. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember, after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden, during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should have helped Nanoha break free from me. It sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanoha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment, I realized my family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um, seven or eight years ago when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soap land instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. I really was. Just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime Land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. Oh, <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long, but... Thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Everyone's going through something. Having a friend to talk to just makes it a little easier. Hachi-san, either I need my eyes checked or you actually bought a drink from the bar. Hmm? Oh, it's, uh, this just water. You giving your liver a rest? That's rare for you. Uh, it's only because I don't have the money for sake right now. Not even sneaking it in from the convenience store. Damn, you're that broke, huh? I forgot to set aside something for this one big expenditure I have every month. It's stupid. What expenditure? You in debt or something? Nah, nothing like that. I, I've been sending Takashi money. Oh! Isn't Takashi-kun the son of the guy who was arrested on false charges? Yeah, Kasumi. And he was arrested because I didn't believe Takashi's testimony. Yeah, but you also tried to get Kuzumi released, right? 
Or Noguchi's the one who shot it down. Doesn't matter whose fault it is. Nothing will bring Kasumi back from the dead. And you don't know how shitty it got for Takashi. First his dad killed himself, then his mom passed away from grief. Poor kid ended up in an orphanage. Well, ever since then, I've been sending Takashi money every month. Under a fake name, of course. Why a fake name? Because Takashi wouldn't accept money from me. I'm one of the cops who locked up his old man. So I started sending money to him under the pseudonym Yamada. That's a hell of a good deed, Adachi-san. But wouldn't Takashi wonder why the heck some stranger named Yamada-san was sending money? <laughs> oh, I didn't overlook that. See, I played this Yamada-san character as a rich guy with a passion for philanthropy. And it worked. Takashi took the money without thinking twice about it. A passion for philanthropy, huh? You're a regular daddy long legs. Eh? Wait, what are you on about? I mean, I guess my legs are long, and in some very specific situations, some people call me daddy, but I... It's the title of a book, man. You never heard of it? It was about a girl who grows up in an orphanage and graduates college with the help of a mysterious donor. Huh. <laughs> never took you for a reader, Kasuga. Oh, I'm not. I had to read that book back in elementary school. Well, it's impressive that you remember it, then. Seriously, man, doing that for 20 years is freaking amazing. I just figured it was the least I could do for the kid, you know? That's not how I would describe it, especially now that you no longer have a job. Well, that's a good point. You know, isn't Takashi-kun all grown up by now? Uh, he's, uh, 25. Don't you think he should be able to stand on his own two feet at this point? Well, except now he's prepping for law school, so... Oh, yeah? He wants to be a lawyer? Yep. Another blood-sucking lawyer. <laughs> nah, but maybe it won't corrupt him that much. I mean, he's a good kid. You know, he writes me a letter every month and thanks me for the money. But those letters are how I know he's trying to get into law school. Maybe he was inspired to do that because of what happened to his dad. Uh, I wondered the same thing. That's why I thought I'd keep helping him until he passes the bar exam. Well, the bar exam's supposed to be pretty tough, yeah? Yeah. Well, he's been studying his ass off for the exam since college. It hasn't been easy for him. He lives on wages from his part-time job and the money I send him. Doesn't go out or party, just studies. Sure hope he passes, then. <laughs> Hopefully he'll manage to do it this year. Hopefully he'll be okay sending him money until then. It's gotta be rough. Well, to tell you the truth, that's a big factor. If he can't support himself soon, I don't think my heart's gonna hold up under the stress of all my stupid money troubles. No kidding. Now it all makes sense why you're broke. No, oh, thanks. Hope you're uh, rooting for me, at least. Yeah, of course I'm rooting for you. Good. Then what do you say to buying me a drink? Oh, <laughs> I walked right into that one. Come on, a clink of the glass would be music to my ears. Fine, fine. <laughs> Not like I can say no after a story like that. <sighs> hey, Namba. You good? Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Guess you could already tell, but yeah. I've got to get something off my chest. You got a sec? Da, na, na, na. Today on Kasuga's Counseling Corner. What in the hell? You're on Ichiban Kasuga's Counseling Corner, man! From trivial bullshit to life's worst catastrophes, one call solves it all. <coughs> what dumbass would ever go to you for counseling? You! Why, good sir, you're the very first dumbass on the show! Wow, what an honor. Uh, okay, for real though, I'm all yours. Promise you won't tell a soul? Yeah, cross my heart. Okay, so... Last night I had a hankering for a nightcap, so I dragged my ass down here. But it was late, the bartender wasn't around. 
And so I'm sitting here all by myself. And I start thinking, what would be the harm in helping myself to a small pour? Just a shot, really. Figured I could pay it back later, you know? That's when I see it. An unopened legend malt. Shining in the dark like it had my name on it. What's a legend malt? A super high-end whiskey. The king of kings. One glass is at least ten grand. Get out of here. I know, right? I couldn't dream of buying a shot, much less a glass. But I figured a drop would be okay. They don't exactly sell it by the drop, dude. Well, you're right. But I took one anyway, because who was gonna stop me? I poured just a drop onto my hand. And when that sweet honey touched my tongue, I went straight to heaven. It was that good? Best whiskey I've ever had in my life. A taste that I felt through my whole body. A fruity aroma that I can still smell if I try. I'm telling you, it was pure magic. All my cares just melted away. It's really that good? They don't call it the legend for nothing, huh? Yep. Packs a legendary punch, too. Next thing I know, I'm staring down an empty bottle. Wait... W don't tell me you drank it all? I did. Guess I blacked out or something. But the fact remains, I downed at least a hundred grand worth of whiskey. Well, what'd the bartender say? Well, you think I actually told him? What's he gonna do, hand me a bill that'll never get paid? What I did instead was I found the nearest mini-mart, grabbed the cheapest whiskey I could find, and replaced it. Wait, so the whiskey in the Legend Malt bottle right now is... Horse piss. To the brim. Dude, someone's gonna find out eventually, you know? I know, why do you think I'm so stressed out? So come on, Cusco, what would you do if you were me? Uh, if it were me, I'd... see. Uh, if anything, I'd stay calm and let things play out. Well, how is that gonna solve anything? Think about it. Drinking whiskey like that was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, right? Well, yeah. And whatever's in that bottle won't get discovered for a while. So why panic about it now? If you stay calm about it, I'm sure you'll eventually stumble on a solution. Well, that's weirdly reassuring. But also... Vague. I'm telling you, don't sweat it. Things are gonna work out. Okay, I'll sit on it for a bit. I knew you were the guy to ask. Well, if it isn't my two favorite vagabonds, why are you two not drinking? Uh, we were just figuring out some life stuff. Without me? <laughs> At least you saved me a seat. Uh, of course we did. Shall we? I'm in the mood for something special today. And I know this place has some killer whiskey. Uh, you want... whiskey? Yeah. There a problem? Not exactly a problem. Good. I was thinking we could do something fancy for once. You don't mean... Bartender, I'll take a 12-year-old silver malt on the rocks. You sure? It's 1,500 yen a glass. <laughs> what? A girl can't reward herself every now and again? Oh, thank God. We're gonna shit our pants every time someone orders a whiskey now, aren't we? No doubt about that. Come on! Get in line! Move it! All right, boys! Warm up! One job and one job only. The freight comes in, you unload it and sort by destination. If you're slow, slacking, or sucking, you get a visit from me. You, lady. Uh, yes? Can you read and write? 
I can. Add and subtract? Yes, sir. Good. You're on office duty. Thank you, sir. Son? This is nothing. Well, don't go so hard you run out of gas like Nama did. <sighs> He's just being a wimp. Oh, man. Why does Saiko get the desk job? I can do math, too. Hey, why don't we see what's inside these boxes? What the hell? They're shark fins. The expensive kind? Or the crappy ones? How would I know? This is dried abalone. That's expensive. Never had it myself. What the heck? This is just paper. They use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Well, Japanese cooking uses washi paper to steam things, so... Maybe China has something similar. Hey! What are you doing over there? Sorry. We'll get back to work. So listen. After the freight's unloaded, a sales rep from the tanker will bring the invoice. A sales rep? From the company that sold us the product. It'll be your job to process the invoice and get them paid. Here we are. This is the invoice. Uh, hold on. I never said I could read Chinese. It doesn't matter. You can read the total, can't you? The money's in the safe. It's self-explanatory. Thank you. I'll bring some things to you. That was... How much was that in yen? About eight million. You paid eight million in cash? That's how we get such good deals on products. We pay in a single lump sum, cash, in yuan. The seller gets all their money right away and avoids paperwork. That's why these mainlanders are willing to sell to us at a much lower price than usual. <sighs> cash is king. And just in case it crossed your mind, don't even think of skimming any cash. We keep our eyes open in this warehouse. You pull anything funny? You'll be sorry you ever set foot here. Sir, I wouldn't dream of stealing. Hey. Hey. 
Seriously? Yo. Shit! I thought this fucking lube was shampoo. Ah, refreshing. Crap, you, you're already out of the bath? Sorry. Kasuga, relax. I know what a naked man looks like. Uh, cool, then. Uh, <clears throat> where's Adachi-san and Namba? I'm probably still washing up. Anyway, I was looking into today's price list. Those ingredients that came in were purchased at some pretty hefty prices. Like, what you'd expect for high-class stuff. Must be primo, then. Guess they aren't lying to the restaurants about the quality. Nope. I mean, I'm sure they get a small discount for paying in cash, but... They're doing everything above board, far as I can tell. Damn. The only weird thing is how much they're reselling the ingredients for. What's weird? Like, take the shark fins. They buy 100 grams for 10,000 yen. How much would you sell them to a restaurant for? Uh, to make a decent profit on them... 20,000? Well, the Yokohama Trading Company sells them for just 10,000. What? Wait, wait, they buy it for 10,000 yen, then sell it for 10,000 yen? That doesn't make any sense. How are they turning a profit? Right? Unless it's volunteer work or something, I don't get it. How are they even staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up over the years. For the life of me, I can't figure out how. Oh, I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know, but I think I'd find signs of tax evasion. Don't do anything that would give yourself away. This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies? Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... <sighs> I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, isn't that a video game? Well, yeah, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true, anyway. Well, thank you, Kasuga. 
for making me one of your buddies. <laughs> What's up? Someone dying here? Huh? Oh, we were just... Well, hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Sure. On whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, man. We gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. Adachi san turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. Bleach Japan. What the hell? The place is already shut down. What do they want now? My friends, look at this filthy evil den of iniquity. Yes, it's an ugly little soapland. Just the other day, our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! 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 This is our victory! The first bricks of the Grey Zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away! But we must not be complacent! We must press on until all the Grey Zones have been purified! Yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. It's really not a good time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed! This building should be vacant! That yeah! is right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff! Keep your protests to shouting. You lay hands on us, there'll be hell to pay. Did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true curse. He thinks he can use violence to crush the voices of the people. He's obviously living in the past. Hurry, let's close up before they start in on us too. Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! <sighs> now, get out of our town and don't ever come back. I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing by taking his own life. What did you just say? What was his name? No, no, Mia. Just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope. I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. <coughs> Who do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here! Don't. That won't work, Sachan. Why not? <laughs> Too late now, you little tart! You assaulted me! You all saw it! Someone called the police! Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this! <laughs> Our leader's down! Let's get in there! Seriously? You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? They were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right boss? Of course. You saw it! They attacked us first! Come on, everyone! This is our moment! Bleach the Grey!
Couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Ugh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. Nah, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides, 
What? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. Man, that felt good! After all this time, we got to actually do something! Yeah! I wish those useless bums in the Seryu clan could have seen that! Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's gonna protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't gonna help. I agree! These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu clan! Yeah! Remember this day with you guys! With you. You. Not them. you should teach I them another way lesson! way safer with you around! <laughs> hmm? Is it closed today? No, no, Mia-san! It's me, Erika Mataki! Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is no, no, Mia-san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, well, that's a little complicated. You know... Know what? Well, Nonomiya-san, he... He died. What? Uh... He's... I don't... He can't be... Uh, that's not... Uh... Hey, hey! Oh, shit! I think we're losing her! Hey! You all right? Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but... I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name? I'm Eri. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Well, damn, Eri-chan. You're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best. Which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, <laughs> senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway. How do you know Nonomiya-san? Well, Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. Oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijingcho. Until... Until? Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. My mother passed away when I was a little girl. So, we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then, but I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. 
I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the Senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the Senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business, so that my grandpa Senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's Nonomiya being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah. I thought maybe this was going to be another one of those exploiter and, you know, force her to work in his soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can see the guy being a regular, but stepping in to become president? Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible, but Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. He did? Yeah, he actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. Uh, what? <laughs> One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. Nonomiya-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on his struggling senbei shop. I mean... There's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway... I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. W wait what about your business? I think... Nanomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. Hey now, is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> Very 
Jan. All right, I got you. Huh? Oh no. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. <sighs> really? But I... Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it too, but this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but we owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I want to help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's gonna pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. Let's just think of this as paying him back. Ah, <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> paying him back, huh? <laughs> Figures you'd say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. So give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Uh, wait, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, Ichiban. If anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, that's you. I believe in you, Ichan. Y yeah, but w what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you... Are you really sure about this? Huh? Well, well, yeah. I don't go back on my word. I'll be your president, prime minister, whatever you need. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Seri-chan. Likewise. Okay, then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. President Kasuga! Come on, guys. Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has, but the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. So this is the office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eri-chan. Welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. Mmm, older gentleman. Unique hairdo. Thick build, toned muscles. Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri-chan. Grandma! He's not my boyfriend! Were you even listening? <laughs> uh, honestly, sorry about that, Kasuga-san. <laughs> it's cool. Huh? Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelet, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. 
Nice to meet you, Omelette. Okay. Perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is going to be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Sure thing. And that's about all there is to managing a business. So? Not too hard, is it? Yeah, not so bad. Uh, yo. Wait up. You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke. Broke as hell. Uh, you didn't have to put it like that. Right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, good question. Then what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? All right, well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who's someone with money? Or a rich friend? Or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron? Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait. What is it? No. He wouldn't, would he? That's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this for both the company and Nonomiya-san's sake. I just need a little bit of financing, I think it's called. Please, man, can you help me out? Uh. Huh? <laughs> you okay there, Nick? Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving! Come be impressed! Downright emotional! Consider it just! I'd be thrilled to invest in your company! Really? Man, thanks, Nick! That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. The conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on mine. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? Ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two suits you fine? Yeah. What's condition three? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see you to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like. Be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome! Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios.
Just look at all this money! Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! I'd be all over you if I was younger! <laughs> Gee, thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing! Thank you, Kasuga-san! Save your thanks for Nikogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. Hell yeah, we actually made a profit. Amazing! We did it! And all thanks to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right. To invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now. But we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future? I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. Kasuga-san. Hmm? Hmm. Yes! job to do. I'm so hungry! Here you go! <gasps> Ichiban Senpei! Whoa! Aren't you President <laughs> Ichiban from Ichiban Confections? I sure am! Eat at Ichiban's Ichiban, Ichiban, Ichiban Senpei! First in smiles, Ichiban Confections!
Okay. よくしました。
Oh? What's wrong, Kasuga-san? You don't look too happy. Yeah, are you okay? I've heard of a punch perm, but that thing's ridiculous. My hair's always been like this. Oh, and I got some new conditions from Nick. Is that right? So, what are they? Top 20 in the share price ranking. And he wants us to move the HQ. would mean we have to take all our stuff to some fancy new building? That about sums it up, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sure you don't wanna. I kind of just agreed. Didn't even think about how you two felt. And there's no point in making our company bigger than it needs to be. What's important is to keep Ichiban Confections the way it is. Making you guys move was selfish of me. Sorry, I should have asked. Hmm. I'll go talk with Nick. We won't be needing any more investments. Ichiban Confection's gonna stay right here. We'll focus on protecting the original- there's a property I've secretly had my eyes on. It's a high-rise office building near the station. How about we try there? Hey, hey, hey. Hold up a sec. You sure about this? You really want to move? Of course we do. We were a pretty big company before we got duped and had everything taken from us. This move is the first step to making our glorious return. New building, new building. Okay, then. I guess that settles it. Let's check out this high-rise. That's right. And while we're at it, why don't we change the company name, too? The name? We're doing a lot more than just sweets now. If we stay Ichiban Confections, it might make us sound like we're neglecting our other businesses. True. If we're known as nothing but a confectionery, who knows what opportunities we might miss out on. Hmm. Yeah, good point. All right, then. What should the new name be? Hmm... What about... Ichiban Holdings? How's that sound? Companies that deal in more than one line of business often refer to themselves as so-and-so holdings. Ichiban Holdings, huh? <laughs> Sounds pretty amazing. I'm cool with that. What about you, Granny? That's fine by me. I'm a sucker for capitalism. How about you, Omelet? Cool then, that's that. We're moving on up and changing the name to Ichiban Holdings. Great. Ichiban Holdings. Yes. It's very fitting, if I do say so myself. Okay, that just leaves finding a new place. Oh, we'll handle that. Just leave it to us. Huh? Are you sure? Definitely. You haven't been in town all that long, Kasuga-san. And I'd like to think that we know this place a little bit better than you. Just leave it to us. We'll find the best place possible. Wait, really? Yes, seriously. Leave it to us. We'll find a nice, cost-effective property. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why do I have a bad feeling about this?
Welcome to Ichiban Holdings. Wow, this new building is great. And look at all the office buildings. What a view. What a view indeed. I dare say it's added another 10 years to my life. Isn't that great, Omelette? <laughs> yeah, we kind of made it big overnight, didn't we? Still, this building, I'm guessing it set us back a bit. Come on, quit hiding behind those smiles. How much was it? It was expensive, wasn't it? Nope, nah, -uh. perfectly affordable. Isn't that right, Granny? Uh, that's right, not expensive at all. Dirt cheap. Nothing you need to worry about, boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I just remembered. We have some business to attend to, if you'll excuse us. Hmm? What's this? Ten... Ten billion?! <gasps> the jig is up! You two... I thought we were going for cost-effective! That's what you said, right? Right? Well, we... Uh, you, you know... I... I'm real sorry. That was the original plan. But we got kind of greedy. Still, everybody's got their weaknesses, right? Nothing we can do about it now. There were a lot of add-ons that we thought were necessary, and we ended up at the 10 billion mark. Ended up at... You gotta be kidding me! Man, we still have to get into the top 20, too. This is gonna be rough. Well, that's okay. We're bound to open ourselves up to doing more business, thanks to our move and all these big upgrades. We'll be fine. We can make it all back in no time. <laughs> That's right. It's just an upfront investment. What's done is done. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, well. Whatever you want to call it. I admit that I like the new building. Go big or go home, right? We're gonna rake it in and make this company so damn big, even this building won't be enough. See? That's the right attitude, Kasuga-san. I'll be giving it 110% from here on out. Happy to hear it. All right, let's do it big. Where smiles are number one. To each of holdings. holdings. On the bustling streets of Yokohama, a decade can pass in the blink of an eye. Time marches on and people come and go. But there are some things we refuse to let change, like the uncompromising flavor of our senbei, and the place we hold in our hearts for our valued customers. At Ichiban Confections, your smile is our number one priority. Eat at Ichiban's. We are Ichiban Holdings.
All right! That's another meeting down. And that means we're finally in the top ten of the share price ranking. Yes! Only a little bit further now. We did it! How did I lose? I guess that's the last of the mischievous three. Now fess up. Who's the one that's been sending you guys? Th that. That would be me. It's you. Huh? Who is he? Greetings. I'm the chairman of Hosho Conglomerate, Hosho. Hosho Congo, what now? The largest business in Yokohama. They're number one in the share price ranking. On top of that, they're also the ones that tricked us and left Ichiban confections to rot. Say what? <laughs> I wouldn't say I tricked you. That was just good business. It's your own fault for being so gullible. But why go after Eri-chan? Just look at her. She's an easy target. A lone girl who suddenly inherits the business after losing her father. Surely she couldn't handle it by herself. Surely she'd want help. Tell me, is there anyone more foolish than that? Sure enough, when I extended my hand, she ate up all I had to offer. And I took every single business her father so lovingly crafted. Bastard. To tell the truth, I never liked her father to begin with. He was unbearable. Always talking about running an ethical business, bringing people to his side, expanding his assets, and enjoying it all the while. I yearned for the day I could crush him beneath my foot. But thanks to his timely death and his idiot daughter, that goal was easily realized. You're a monster! Come now. Even if I wasn't the one to trick you, you would have been tricked by someone else in the long run. You should be thankful I put you down when I did. Besides, I am the president of the number one business in Yokohama. It's an honor to lose to me, is it not? <sighs> Asshole! Oh, are you sure you want to do that? The president of Ichiban Holdings at the height of their power, lashing out in an act of violence? And against me, of all people. You're sure to make enemies with every business in Yokohama. I wouldn't recommend it. Like I give a shit! Stop, Kasuga-san! Eri-chan. If you hit him here, it'll be exactly what he wants. You hit him, and everything we've worked for will have been for nothing. Oh. <laughs> it would seem you've grown a little after all, miss. We'll take you on fair and square. And we'll see who's number one after that. We're gonna take that top spot, get the other Yokohama businesses on our side, and put you out of a job. <laughs> you can try. I'll be waiting, little girl. And you should know, we won't be holding back on our end. You'd better be ready. Don't underestimate this business. Kasuga-san, I want us to beat him. Yeah, me too.
You were amazing. I'm very impressed with your business skills and also with your manly physique. Ah, I see where this is going. And I'm flattered, but... Oh, I don't mean for me, hon. I'm trying to say you'd make a fine husband for Aerie. Uh? What? Grandma, what are you doing? You can't just... Uh, that, that's... <laughs> But you don't seem all that opposed to the idea. You're with me, aren't you, Omelette? <laughs> Bagok! Please don't give me that. I'm so sorry, Kasuga-san. Hey, I'm sorry too. Can't imagine you like the idea of being with an old goat like me. Huh? Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. Um, I'm actually really happy when I'm around you, so... Uh. Uh, well, um, no, it's nothing. You sure are clueless, Kasuka-san. <laughs> Looks like I won't be hearing those wedding bells anytime soon. Okay, let's just drop it. Now, where do we go from here? We're number one in Yokohama, but it won't stay that way on its own. And as the number one company, the shareholders are going to be more demanding than ever. You gonna keep running the business with us, Mr. Husband Material? I'd like to ask that of you as well. We need you, Kasuga-san. Ichiban Holdings does, and so do I. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thanks. I never planned on leaving. This place is important to me. I'm lucky to have you by my side. Kasuga-san. Yes. I feel the same way. All right! Number one in Yokohama ain't enough! Let's be the best company in the country! And then, the world! Right! Where smiles are number one! Ichiban, Ichiban Holdings! Holdings. <sighs> Hell of a day. And we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes.
What's up? Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. Oh, no, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Well,意思,小兔的先進間地了,下次一起付給你們。喂,這個當初講好的不一樣吧。批發價會算你這麼便宜,就是因為說好當場付現的。沒錢的話,東西我們可要收回去了。知道了。我去银行抽钱回来。三十分钟后,你们再过来。这次可要准备好啊。放心了,相信我。This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. What? Tian Chou Oh, um, it's not here yet. What? Counterfeit bills? Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy? The foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait. Are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They gotta. What, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, 
After all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What do you mean, money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho. You already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Hold that many. Let me just stick with these two, man. Toughen the fuck up, bro. We don't have time for your bitching. used to work in here yet? Oh, sure. <laughs> Foreman's been talking about you nonstop. I think he might even ask you out soon. Oh, looking forward to it. Drop these! Oh, 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 oh. 
sorry. You idiots! What are you doing? Sorry. Let me get this cleaned up. It's so where did it go? So, just how did you end up with this? Huh? Uh, I don't know. What? You saying this money just grew legs and walked over here by itself? <laughs> hmm. Fat chance. <sighs> hey! These four Japanese are thieves! They're trying to steal the company's money! They almost made off with some of your pay! Are we gonna let them get away with that? I say hell no! Let's tear these fuckers up and load them in boxes! <sighs> Right. I got this. Hell 
alive. Check this out. We're in this together, guys. Yeah, did it. guys anyway hand over that damn money already fuck you just one bill's all i need come on one bill what the fuck kind of thief are you hey! An asshole. What do you think you're doing? He's right. Try to save your strength. Huh? Why are you guys so damn calm about all this? You're the last one to come around, so you missed all the introductions. Sorry, man. But you'll have to fill in the gaps yourself. Glad you could join us. Huh? <sighs> Let's get started, shall we? How about we don't? Just, just hold on! No fair! Don't I get an introduction too? Shut up! <laughs> Kasuga. No! Who are you? He's Lauma. <laughs> Lauma. In other words, Mabuchi. <laughs> Glad we could clear that up. You're going to answer some questions for me now. No, no, Mia. Sorry. The owner of Orohime Land. You're the one who murdered him! Tell me why! I'll be the one asking the questions. And you're going to give me the answers I want to hear. Or I'll kill all your friends. And you can watch as they bleed out. Okay, press record. Yes, sir. What are you doing? I'll tell you what you're doing. Deciding whether your friends will die. Mm. I know you're with the Seiryu clan. What? N no, I'm not. Are you sure? That's quite the tattoo on your back. You're definitely no civilian. Maybe I'm just a dumb civilian who likes body art too much. I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. Why? What would a Japanese person want with Chinese Yuan? <laughs> Trick question. It's fake. Oh? Why do you think that? 
because I saw crisp new bills in the office when supposedly they were out of cash. I also saw your boxes full of blank paper, even though you do food imports. So you intended to steal a bill which you almost certainly knew was fake. Whatever did you plan to do with it? It would have been evidence of all your fraud. I was gonna make you pay for killing Nonomiya. Which is what you deserve. Hmm. I see. Ichiban! So you got jobs in our warehouse solely to investigate our highly successful business. And then you just happened to notice the fake money. Is that correct? <laughs> Fuck you. And no one else knows about it. Also correct? Oh, I wouldn't assume that. Answer me. Or would you prefer to watch your friends die? Fine. I haven't told anyone. Good boy. Now, last question, and don't fuck with me on this one. And ask it and get it over with! Do you truly believe that I am the one who killed Nonomiya? Yeah! You're damn straight! <laughs> Very good. Perfect, in fact. Yeah? Why's that, asshole? I've just recorded video evidence that the Seiryu clan is sticking its nose in our affairs. You Seiryu make me sick. Nothing but traitorous scum. Hey, we said we're not Seiryu. Save your breath. We fell right into his trap. What? What are you talking about? The Ejin Three took vows never to invade each other's territory. But the Seiryu clan has broken that promise. Which means... They've declared war against the Yokohama Liumong. Huh? Stop the camera. Hey, you're getting this shit all mixed up. I ain't in the Seiryu clan! But your performance was excellent. I can't wait to see the whole movie. Come again? Well, okay. Since you were such a good actor, I'll let you in on one thing. The fuck? The man who killed Nonomiya... ...is me. So you did do it! Send that video to each one of our members, along with the warehouse security footage. Tell them it's proof the Seiryu clan attacked us. Yes, sir! I really must thank you. Piece of shit! I was actually starting to worry that no one would water the seeds I'd planted. But then you showed up. And now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower. What the fuck? What are you plotting? Answer me, damn it! That's useless, Kasuka. What? Babuchi's obviously trying to start a war with the Seiryu clan. He wants to upset the balance of power in Ijinsho. Why would he want a war? I don't know. But he's about to claim that the Seiryu attacked the Leo Mom. And we're gonna be his proof. But why? And also, how? They're going to use that video they just shot. What fucking good is the video if we are not in the Seiryu clan? Did you hear him give the order to send the video to all the Omang members? That, plus that awful smile of his, and all the other weird shit he said on the video has me thinking. I don't know when he decided to do this, but he had a whole damn script for it. Bastard. No, he's dead serious about starting this war. The stalemate is over. Hey, can we wallow in misery later? We gotta escape if you haven't noticed. Hell of a good point.
Hey. 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 Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think anyone's coming back? I mean, they wouldn't just leave us here to die, would they? That would be a pretty economic way to torture people. Sons of bitches. Shh. I hear footsteps. What do you want? guys yeah they were at the warehouse the warehouse is total thanks to you fucks everything is gone and it's time for you to pay well it was you guys who blew up the truck not us <laughs> <laughs> luckily Lao Ma gave us permission to make examples out of you examples yeah we're gonna slice you up and send the body parts to the Seiryu clan Lauma also said we can take our sweet time killing you. He knows how to keep his men motivated. Glad to hear you like your boss. That's rare. Ha! Not scared, huh? You must have had some lucky breaks in the past. But there's none coming now. I'm about to show you what hell itself is like. <laughs> Did that hurt? Scared now. <laughs> I love it when they make that face. Come on, make it again. Stop it, you freak! Oh, patience, lady. I'm saving you for later. That part's gonna be real fun. <laughs> You're disgusting. Keep it in your pants unless you want to lose it. <laughs> I like how feisty she is. But let's start with a nice appetizer. The old man.
Who are you? Pardon the interruption, but I have orders from Lama himself. Huh? Why didn't I hear about this? Hey, what did Lama say? Why are you taking off their chains? That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourselves. Funny how the tables have turned, wouldn't you say? You know, my luck's been really turning around. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Who the hell was that guy? No idea. But I think I'll buy him dinner if I ever see him again. Hey, you mind wrapping this up? Oh, right. My bad. All right. I got this. <sighs> yeah. Get him, Ishiban. Please don't lose. Let's go. You shit-rimmed asshole. You're fucking dead! Show me what you got. Check this out. Yeah. Hey. Well. I see. Huh? Yeah. Should I open it? 
I supposed to know some guy was gonna pop out at me. Guess you never know what to expect when opening these things. But if he was waiting for me, how long was he cooped up for? swinging everywhere. Good enough for me. Here we go. Get this out. I love you all. Get serious. You want to go? Let's go. 
Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Hey, 
Who the fuck are you? dead on arrival after being shot on Seiryu clan turf. It was a bloodbath, and the killers got away before the cops even showed up. Sounds like this isn't over by a long shot. Even as we speak, Captain Takabe is taking matters into his own hands with a truck full of Yakuza, all armed to the teeth. Doubt Chairman Hoshino even signed off on it. Tetsu, Koji, they'll answer for your deaths in blood. Probably heading straight for Restaurant Row. Yeah, right into Liumang territory. So, Takabe's heading to Restaurant Row, huh? That's right where the Liu Meng boss has his front. He's basically a lit spark flying into a powder keg. This is ridiculous. How can it be this easy to destroy a years-long truce? Mabuchi's got everyone dancing to his little tune. And he used us to make sure everyone heard it. At least now we know for sure he killed Nonomiya. Yeah. I remember his shit-eating grin as he said that. We still don't know why he did it, though. Yeah... You thinking of something, Adachi-san? Mm, yeah, yeah. Just... something Mabuchi said. I'm trying to remember the exact words. Who cares what that son of a bitch said? Adachi-san, are you wondering if Nonomiya was killed... because of us? What? But we had nothing to do with it. Especially you, Sachan. Yeah, I know it wasn't our fault. It was Mabuchi's. But maybe we were a convenient tool for him to get the war he wanted. I don't know, Sachan. I mean, we weren't even a blip on it. Wait. Wait, I get it now. You do? Listen, on the surface, it makes no sense for him to kill Monomiya, right? Right. We know his true objective is war with the Seiryu clan. Yeah, that's a given. But he didn't need a reason to start one. He could have just done it. Instead, he used us as an excuse. Why? You tell me, detective. Think about it. If it got out that he was stirring the pot, what would happen? Well, the other organizations would retaliate. Exactly. This is Yokohama, where the Ejin Three have a strict agreement never to invade each other's turf. Anyone who dares break that rule would be punished by all three factions. Even if that person is a Liu Meng officer, like Mabuchi. So he needed to put the blame on someone besides himself. But why us? Think back to what he said. It all starts to come together. I was actually starting to worry that no one would water the seeds I planted. But then you showed up, and now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower. He was saying that his master plan was complete. Get it? The seed was Nonomiya's death. We watered it by chasing the murderer. And the video he took to show his boys and get them all riled up. That was the blossoming flower? That's what I'm thinking. Also, I don't think he wanted us in particular. He just needed someone, anyone, to water the seed. Nonomiya died? For that? I don't think there was anything special about Nonomiya either. What? I think he was chosen only because his shop was on Seiryu clan turf. Mabuchi just needed there to be an untimely death of someone connected to the Seiryu. 
and anyone who reacted to it would serve as his spark for war. Well, Mia and all of us are the pawns in Mabuchi's scheme, but I mean, it could have been anyone. At least we're alive. No, no, Mia is dead. Yep. Just because Mabuchi needed a roundabout way to start a war. He must have heard the old secret about how to win wars. Force your enemy to act first. God damn it, Adachi-san. You say all we did was help Mabuchi's plans? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that evil bastard has to pay. No way am I gonna let everything go according to his plan. Cool it. Kasuga, we need to stay calm right now. Yeah, Mabuchi's obviously a sharp guy, so let's not do anything rash. Fuck that! I'm not standing around and letting him win! Uh... Look, you might believe in that old shit about letting the enemy act first to win the war, but my Anaki taught me different. He said whoever makes the first move is the victor. The guy with steel balls wins! <laughs> Look, you need to chill out. It's such on It's so funny. We can stop this war. We just gotta tell the Seiryu captain what's going on. For real? You wanna mess around in gang warfare? Namba son, would you rather let it happen and then we get blamed for the whole thing? I'm not down with letting it happen. Nonomiya wouldn't be either if he were here. Fine. And you, Adachi san? Well, it would piss me off to allow that slick fuck the last laugh. All right, then there's no time to waste. Off to restaurant row. You're getting played, man. <sighs> and the player is Lauma. You know, Mabuchi. He killed the owner of Otohime Land and made it look like a suicide. This woman heard it happen over the phone with her own ears. I did. I heard a struggle and men shouting, Lauma. Which gave us a lead we followed to Mabuchi's trading company jobs working at the Leo Mong warehouse. And then you were captured, and apparently you claimed you were Seiryu spies. Mabuchi sent it to me. He's using that video to start a war. We never claimed to be Seiryu. In fact, I told him over and over again we're not. I think he even believed me, but he didn't give a shit. I know that doesn't make sense, but I'll explain. As long as he pretends to think that we're Seiryu, he can claim he was just defending himself against an attack from your clan! Um... It's all a bunch of bullshit to start a war! He's planting fake evidence that the Seiryu clan broke the rules of the truce! Don't you see? If you fight him, you're playing right into his hand! <sighs> yeah, I know all that. Huh? Don't worry, I'll take Mabuchi down. Once I've eliminated all my other enemies. But, what, what I'm trying to say is, I mean, don't you want to avoid- I'm fine with starting a war. What? I'll take a war, for the sake of Tetsu and Kochi. They were two young recruits, just boys, really. Boys who, in the end, had more bullets in them than years of life. Mabuchi was there when they were murdered. But it wasn't just him. Seven Leomong bastards unloaded their clips on two unarmed kids. <coughs> Here we are, outside the restaurant owned by the Leomong boss. Because I need an explanation for Tetsu and Kochi's deaths. The souls of those boys demand an apology. If that's all you want from him, why'd you bring the guns? Good point. I better make use of mine. Takabe-san, we're not armed. 
So? So you know you can't just shoot us. There's no honor in that. And you have no reason to kill us anyway. Am I wrong? If so, tell me your reason for shooting me. <sighs> if you shoot me, you bring shame to the entire Seiryu clan. Tetsu and Koji's deaths would be overshadowed by yet another unjust killing. <sighs> I know words alone won't make you back down. That's not your style. But I ain't the type to back down either. If you want to kill me, you better do it in one shot. Why is that? Because if you miss, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I think that rat's nest of hair is smothering your brain. You are stupid. Dangerously annoying me and my crew. By the way, I'm sorry I'm making a commotion in somebody else's house. But I accept the consequences. We'll fight, as long as there are no guns. Kasuga, shut up and fight! This. I 
Check this out! Get a lie! Get out of here. Hey, we got a problem. Huh? The boss from the restaurant is here. The boss? You know, Chao, leader of the Yokohama Liumon. So, he's the top guy. He could be the reason Mabuchi's pulling all this shit. Including the hit on Nonomiya. Zhao might be giving all the orders. You know, Mabuchi sent me an interesting video. Yeah. You're the star in it, aren't you? I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. I know you're with the Seiryu clan. Yeah! You're damn straight! They edited the damn video! I'm not with the Seiryu clan! Oh, you're not, are you? Then why the hell would you be tailing Mabuchi in the first place? Because... <laughs> Careful now. No lies. Hey, stop! Uh, uh. Choose some quick, wise words now. I'm a busy man. It's exactly what Kasuka said. Our boss was killed, and we followed the clues to Mabuchi. Yeah, this whole thing is Mabuchi's fault. He used us to pin a false accusation on the Seiryu clan. So you're laying all of this at Mabuchi's feet. You're basically slandering my right-hand man right now, you know? Hard to believe he'd suddenly go rogue on me. And he's just as busy as I am. Not the type of guy with time to scheme. He's only busy because he's trying to start wars. Don't you get it? I mean, isn't it a little weird that your right-hand man is nowhere in sight? Have you even talked to him since you saw that video? That's a good point, Zhao-san. If you don't know where Mabuchi is, doesn't that make you look bad? Excuse me. Uh, think about it. If Mabuchi ain't answering his own boss's calls, could that mean he was fanning the flames of war? And now he's holed up somewhere waiting to watch it burn? No, he hasn't just gone rogue. He's betrayed you. And I walk out into a fucking sermon? Call it whatever you want. As long as you get it through your head, we're not to blame here. And deep down, you know that. Did you think that sounded cool, Grandpa? You're shit at this. <clears throat> what are you doing? Stop! You know, I wouldn't mind killing all of you right here, right now. Everyone who played a role in this sorry story dies, right? down to the captain. I'd say that's a textbook opening move for a war. Well, stop talking about it and do it then. Fuck Mabuchi! He gunned down two young Seiryu clan boys in cold blood. So as far as I'm concerned, this war has already begun. Hey, shut up, both of you! You guys really think a war is the way to go? You think that'll turn out well? Don't be stupid. You can stop this. Or do you like being Mabuchi's little pawns? Was I not clear? I don't like sermons. Well, that's not what I'm calling it. Consider it a formal complaint. And a real leader ought to shut up and listen when there's a complaint. <laughs> Who should I, huh? <laughs> Ichiban Kasuga, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm all ears. But first, 
I want you to answer a question. Shoot. Why would Mamuchi try to start a war in Ijincho in the first place? How in the goddamn world does that benefit him? How the fuck should I know? What a surprise. And in regards to that soap landowner, do you know for sure that Mabuchi killed him? Yeah, he straight up told me when I asked him. Oh. Well, I'm not buying it. Which means this discussion's over. Look, man, I saw it in his eyes. That dude's a murderer! Raising your voice isn't gonna make me change my mind. Wait! Shooting him drags us all into a war, while Mabuchi watches somewhere safe and sound! Is that what you want? What would that even accomplish? You'll kill a man without even knowing that? I'll say it as many times as it takes, Zhao! Mabuchi planned all of this, and he's out there laughing in the shadows! If you start this war, your whole organization will be stained with that forever! Look, <laughs> Kasuga-kun, I don't think you're lying, Shet. I think you'd be terrible at it. Hmm. But just because you're not lying doesn't mean it's true. I need proof before I act. I gotta think like a leader, right? And that means setting a fucking example. At the very least, I need evidence that Mabuchi killed the soap landowner. That's where the whole thing started, after all. According to you. Uh -huh. So she heard Lao Ma over the phone. That's all you got. Isn't that enough? Hell no, it's not. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not really sure I want to get them involved. Who's them? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh, the web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh. The web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju? Yeah. If someone really is trying to fuck with the Ijin 3's balance of power. That someone being Mabuchi, as you claim. There's no way the Komiju don't know about it. Information is what they trade in. It's practically their currency. <sighs> He's right. Eugene Cho's got lots of people willing to sell secrets. And if you follow each secret long enough, they all end up in Komijuo. Yeah. I don't know how they do it, but whatever their system, the info is always 100% accurate. <laughs> it's credible, really. Doesn't seem real. I'm not saying you have to use the Komijuo to find evidence of your Mabuchi theory. If you got other ideas, fine. Just prove to me that Mabuchi killed your boss. I'll let the captain here live until you return. Hmm. By the way, don't even think about running. If so much as your pinky toe crosses the Ichincho border, the captain dies. And I still wouldn't be satisfied. So your friends and your family would be next. Wait, what the hell's with that? Don't argue, Sachan. These guys don't do logic or compassion. Honestly, I want an answer just as bad as you all do. If Mabuchi really has betrayed me, then my gang's gonna be split down the middle. Neither the Seiryu clan nor the Komiju is gonna be thrilled about that. But that's why I need contingency plans. You see now? All the shit I gotta deal with. Man, I sure hope Mabuchi's innocent. But of course, then I'd have to kill you all. <laughs> Painfully. No complaints, I hope. <laughs> no need to be all giddy about it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go find proof that Mabuchi killed your soap landowner. Kasuga, I don't think we have a choice. I know. 
You're probably aware, but the Comey Jewel don't fuck around. So be careful. Finding the evidence won't do any good if you're dead. You almost sound like you care. Kasuga, we really gotta get moving. And fast. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Adachi-san, are we already in Komi Jewel territory? Yep, we're on Komi Jewel turf now. Feels like we might get attacked any second, don't it? Don't say that. You're freaking me out. Hey, stop walking, guys. What? Um, who's that? <sighs> Sunglasses at night? Really? She's lucky she's hot. Yeah, with a body like that, who cares what she's wearing? You guys do realize you'd just be wallets on legs to a woman like that. I mean, you know, beauty always has a price tag. It's part of the appeal. Seriously? That's your logic? You know, I can hear all of you. Who is she? Is she with the Comey Jewel? How should I know? Let's just go ask her. Wait, Kasuga! Hey, how's it going? My name's... <laughs> Well, if it isn't Ichiban Kasuga and his merry band, good evening. You know who we are? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course? You're, you're gonna have to explain that one. Guys, come on! She won't bite! So, I'm guessing you're with the Komi Jewel. Yep. This pretty lady didn't knife you, so you just trust her? Relax. Uh, now, ma'am, I think you know why we're here. You want evidence that Lao Ma killed the Soquin donor. Or so I presume. So well informed. But do you have any? Probably. Come with me. This is easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Don't worry. Nobody that beautiful could be evil. If you don't start thinking with the right head, you're gonna get us all killed. This way. Keep following me. Hey, uh, funny thing. A while back, we actually, uh, got in a fight with a Komi Jewel fella. Oh? We were helping out some bar owners that you were, you know, stealing electricity from. But isn't that all settled by now? Uh, is it? Oh, if so, great. <laughs> I guess it's all okay then. <laughs> Don't be so nervous. Huh? <laughs> I'm not nervous. Why? Do, do I seem nervous? No, you're fine. And besides, the jumpiness is a cute look on you. Well, you know, I, I, I do get that sometimes. <laughs> hey, let's all keep it in our pants, okay? <laughs> Place is pretty deserted, isn't it? Why haven't we seen anyone? Kasuga. I've never been this far in. This is the heart of Komi Jewel territory. Yeah, I figured. Um... Should we turn back? Hey, what are you all whispering about? N nothing. We're just a chatty bunch, is all. Hmm. <laughs> if you feel uncomfortable, you can turn back. I won't stop you. After coming this far? I don't think so. And you know we won't, so don't patronize us. Point taken. Let's pick up the pace, shall we? Fine with me. Hey, is this what they call a cat fight? If they start hissing, we'll know. this place it's crazy Kasuga 
piece of trivia for you. In Korean, Komiju translates to spider web. Oh, guess that makes sense. But what's the point of so many power lines? If you want to know, come and see the top floor. Just a cockroach. Don't scare us like that. Oh, sorry. Oh, the thing looked like it was from the freaking Jurassic period. Hey, we got bigger problems than the roach. What? Like what? Like how that woman's gone? What? Ichiban, you dumbass. Why'd you take your eyes off her? You did it too. Everyone, shut up and look over there. I saw someone. Damn it. Another crossbow? Call me two bastards. All of a sudden, we're not welcome? What's up with the creepy masks? <laughs> now with the fists? And did you only have one crossbow bolt? All of you staying quiet? And I guess we'll talk it out the hard way. Yo. What's up? Yeah. Very good. Well done, everyone. Hey. Allow me to apologize. We're not usually so uncouth. The guy who freed us from Mabuchi's chains. You remember me. I'm honored. Hey. Why bother saving us then just to attack us now? I do apologize. The situation's a little complex. It's this guy's deal. I don't like him. Weren't you the one saying he was hot? Just because he's hot doesn't mean I like him. I'm serving in a strategic role for the Komijul. My name is Jungi Han. Jungi Han? You want to tell us why your men attacked us? I simply wanted to see how strong you are. 
Actually, I ordered them not to kill you, no matter what happened in the fight. <laughs> and yet, I must admit, you still had me worried for a second there. No way, man. We didn't even break a sweat. Look, my hair's still perfect. Does that make me strong enough for you? Yeah, <sighs> for my men, yes. But for me... <laughs> why, I believe I could take all of you by myself. Say what? I happen to know why you're here, Kasuga. You're in quite the predicament. But there are things you don't yet grasp. If you like, I could explain things in greater detail. How about you spare us greater details and give us the short version? Very well. I'll focus on the part that's crucial for you to understand. Just give me a minute to figure out how to put it, so even an idiot can comprehend. If you think calling me names is gonna get a rise out of me, think again. I like my life as an idiot. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a rise out of you. I like idiots myself. Now, this way, please. Is he gonna take us seriously at some point? <laughs> Just let it go. He really pisses me off for a hot guy. It's always the sexy ones who piss you off the most. Yep, that's why I prefer to associate with you guys. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I think you might be the very first non komijo who ever passed through here. You should be grateful, or at least pretend to be. the heart of our business interests in Ijincho. Security cameras all over town. Footage shot by undercover Komijul agents. Here, we see everything the cameras see. We have our own generators too. But they're not enough to power such an advanced system. So, that's why... You have to jack innocent people's electricity? <sighs> that's one way of putting it. But you must consider that we are recent arrivals in Ijincho. When we came, the Seriyu and Liumang were already at war over territory. The area we now call Komiju was the only scrap left to us. Still, we've managed to use it to produce a very in-demand commodity. Information, which it turns out is also an excellent weapon. Too good for regular weapons, huh? We are quite small compared to the Seiryu clan and the Liumang. We'd be the first to go down if it came to a real war. So, to survive, we have come to act as the balance between the other two. It's a strategy that has served us well, so far. You balance them? How? To give you an example, if a man from the Liumang entered Seiryu clan territory, We'd know it immediately, and report it to our Seiryu contacts. And it wouldn't end there. We'd investigate the trespasser, and use his friends or family as further leverage. So you see, we extinguish the sparks of war before they become fires. Though we do prefer that sparks don't fly in the first place. So really? This standoff in Yokohama isn't among three equal organizations. It's two big powerful ones, and a little one mediating between them. Exactly right. The Liumang and the Seiryu clan should be thanking us. <laughs> but they've never sent so much as a thank you note. What if someone does start a fire on purpose? Would the Komi Jewel do anything about it? It's case by case, but many times that task would fall to us. Yes. Sometimes all we have to do is apply a little pressure. But sometimes it calls for a heavier hand. It's all just business, of course. So what about Mabuchi? 
You managed to put out that spark yet? <laughs> He's still alive, if that's what you're asking. But take a look at the large monitor, if you would. Huh? This was recorded just moments before the death of Otohime Land's owner. You'll see both Lao Ma and his men. Well, hey, this looks like rock solid proof to me. Hell yeah! This is exactly what we were looking for! I knew it would be. Anyone who watches this, even Zhao, will have to accept that Mabuchi is at fault. Nice! But I can't hand this over to you just yet. There's something else I want you to see. What's that? You'll see what I mean. Uh, yeah. yeah this doesn't sound shady at all. Yo, can you lighten up, man? It's starting to rub off on me. What is all this? Come, have a closer look. It's not going to bite. More fake bills? Wait. These are different from Mabuchi's. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, these fakes are on a whole other level, I assure you. They make Mabuchi's bills look like board game money. Put them side by side, and you'd see how sloppy his work is. These are made with a state-of-the-art printer. It can copy a bill down to each microline. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd turn up again. Happy to see me? I'm happy any time a good-looking woman turns up. It would have been sooner, but I had preparations to make. Yeah, I bet your makeup routine's no joke. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. Ugh, can you two stop flirting? <sighs> How about you tell us who you are already? I don't think the lady appreciates your tongue. It's fine. Why don't you introduce me to them? <sighs> of course. Where does your ego end? Everyone, allow me to present the leader of the Komijul, Song Hui. Wait, you mean she's their leader? Komijul's boss is a woman? You remember all that paper in Mabuchi's warehouse? The plain white paper inside the shipping boxes? Uh, you mean the stuff for steaming food? Yeah, I remember that. It's not for food. It's made with a very special compound. The Liomang import it from the mainland. They're a Chinese import company. Makes sense. The Japanese yen we make here uses the same paper. What? Wait, do you steal the paper from the Liu Meng warehouse and make yen with it? Steal us? We don't need to stoop to that. We arranged for it to be brought here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? The Komi Jewel asked the Yokohama Liu Meng to procure the paper we needed. It's only stored temporarily in Mabuchi's warehouse. Then someone from the Liu Meng delivers it to us. 
Who brings it? And who did you arrange all this with? Oh, it all goes through their boss, Zhao. Zhao knows you use the paper? Of course. How would we keep it a secret from him? So, the paper in the warehouse gets made into fake yen, not yuan? But then, where does the yuan come from? Is that another part of your business? Or is that the Liu Meng's piece of the action? Nope. It's neither. What? You know, this whole thing was kind of a fluke. One day, one of Mabuchi's men stumbled across a box of strange paper in the warehouse. It just so happened, this particular guy was a former counterfeiter. A light bulb went off in his head, and he told Mabuchi they could use the paper to make fake yuan. Mabuchi gave it a try, and voila, huge profits. So it wasn't even Mabuchi's idea in the first place. <laughs> Far be it from me to criticize others in the trade. But Mabuchi's not as smart as he thinks he is. He just got lucky one of his peons had a good idea. Does Xiao know that Mabuchi is making Yuan? Have you told him? I did. But Zhao already knew. He's just pretending that he doesn't. After all, it's not like he can order his men to stop printing Yuan. They'd ask where the paper was going. Not even Zhao could talk his way out of that. And he's not about to do anything that might risk his very profitable fake Yen operation. So he's willing to look the other way when it comes to Mabuchi's fake Yuan. It's logical. I'd do the same. But does Mabuchi know the same paper is being used to make Yen? No, what he takes to make Yuan is breakage. But I'm okay with breakage if it keeps Mabuchi in the dark. The only thing I care about is the paper continues to be customized for Yen. Customized? Yes, legal currency always has a specific recipe. For Yen, the main ingredient is a plant called Mitsumata. But the other ingredients, the mixture ratio, the manufacturing method, those are all state secrets. Which makes it almost impossible to copy. How the hell are you pulling it off? We have a contact at the Treasury who passed these secrets to us decades ago. That long ago? Why haven't the police caught wind of this operation? <laughs> if you're surprised by police incompetence, you're younger than I thought. Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, trust me, I'm uh, older than I look. You know she's literally doing that on purpose, don't you? <laughs> the point is, almost nobody knows about these fake bills. So you better start explaining why you have one. Uh... Ichiban! Whoa! This bill is a misprint from our machine. It should have been destroyed. Tell me where you got this. Our surveillance network has been watching you ever since you arrived in this city. That's how we knew you had a fake bill. It's time for you to tell us the whole story behind it. In detail. That's why we brought you here. Look, I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. I don't know shit about that bill. You don't know anything? Not a damn thing. You know I won't hesitate to pull the trigger. I know it. You're a lady who does what needs to be done. I'm glad you recognize that. We've already reviewed every single frame of footage where you make an appearance. It does support your claim that you're clueless about the fake bill. It also showed you were bleeding out from a gunshot wound when you arrived. Is there anything you don't know? Yes, like why you're still here in Ijincho. You don't seem to have an actual goal or much of a purpose. Which I suppose makes sense, given the way you look and behave. Ah, uh, kinda harsh there, don't you think? But the same can't be said about one of you. Isn't that right, Nanba? Hey, well, what's this about? 
You showed up in Ijincho six months ago. The whole time, you were watching our building from the homeless camp. We saw you. How long did it take you to notice? Not long. But what caught our attention is you never showed interest in your campmates. Until the fake bill. He only talked to me because the chief asked him to heal me up, and... But why did he come with you on this journey? Is it the classic nurse in love with a patient story? No, he doesn't have Florence Nightingale syndrome. He's after something. Duh. Uh. You knew the fake bill came from Number. us! Don't move. She's not finished. <clears throat> Start talking. Who are you? You, Namba. Former nurse. 41 years old. That's not what I'm asking. I'm Shoichi Akiba's older brother. Alright? What? Shoichi Akiba? The journalist? Akiba was a pen name. His real name was Shoichi Namba. Hmm. It's all starting to make sense now. What is? What are you all talking about? About six months ago, a journalist heard rumors about our counterfeiting operation. That was Shoichi Akiba. He came here to Ijincho to investigate, but... After just a few days, he disappeared. He disappeared? Don't play dumb! Hmm. <laughs> just before he went MIA, I got a message from him. He told me he was being watched... ...by the Komijou. You tell me, where is my brother? I get it now. You think you're on some kind of rescue mission, huh? I heard about Ijincho's great wall of muscle. How it protected the town from outsiders. So I pretended I was a local. By disguising yourself as a bum and joining their camp. Thinking you'd keep tabs on us because we're close to the homeless camp. Yeah. But unfortunately, I never got any leads. Not until you showed up, Ichiban. It was back when I saw that weird bill on you that I knew. I knew right off the bat that it was one of the fakes my brother had been chasing before he disappeared. I finally had a clue. So from that moment on, there was no way I was gonna let you out of my sight. I figured you'd eventually tell me how you got it, and I'd get closer to finding my brother. Stupid part is... <laughs> every time you open your mouth, it became more and more obvious you knew less about it than I did. Pretty crazy, right? I had no idea. <laughs> well, I figured out pretty quick you couldn't tell a lie if you wanted to. And since now I'm sure you don't know anything, not much reason for me to hang around. I was just planning to slip away soon anyway. And I wasn't even going to tell you guys when I did. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Namba. I didn't want it to happen this way. I'm sorry, Ichiban. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Nanchan. You bastards. What did you do to my brother? Did you kill him? At least tell me if he's still alive. Please. You owe me that much. That's all I'm asking. Then you can do whatever you want with me. 
But let Ichiban and the others go. I'm willing to die. But you know they aren't involved. Spare them. Please. That takes care of our little rat problem. Hopefully, he'll set a good example. The rest of you have the good fortune of being our guests. Hmm. Sounds like Zhao has taken a liking to you. Yo, just a second! Where do you think you're taking him? You can't just take away my friend. Friend? Didn't you hear a word he just said? He's been lying to you because he thought it would get him closer to us. You call that a friend? I can think of a few better words to describe him. Yeah, good point. Friend isn't exactly the right word for Namba anymore. It's different now. So it's sinking in? The thing is... The only reason I say that is because friend doesn't even begin to describe him. What do you mean? He took care of me when I got dumped here. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have survived the night. I owe my life to Namba, and that's a debt I can never repay him for. That guy back there is more than a friend. The only thing I would call him now is a brother! That's why I can totally understand why Namba went as far as he did to find his brother. Nothing about his reasons for lying to us about his real goal was out of self-interest. He did it for his family. So don't you dare. Don't you dare drag him through the mud and pretend like you're any better! <sighs> You didn't forget I was here. Hey, weren't you the one saying you could stop us all by yourself? Shut up! What are you doing? Get us some backup! Time to call your bluff. I'm taking you out! Let me prove it. You're gonna be sorry. Okay, I'm not that again. You should have stayed in the trash. I have secrets too. Who wants to do it? Take this. You should be one Try this. Right. Don't switch now. This is no time to be dead. Now get him. all the motivation I need. Let's go. You're in it now. Let's go. You're gonna get stomped. Yeah. You're done now! 
Let's get out of here! <sighs> Ichiban, get up! There's more of them coming! Come on, you can do it! All right, jeez, I'm up! Now you've done it, Ichiban Kasuga. And here I thought you were just a cute idiot. And here I thought you were just a tough babe. Too bad you're actually a gullible dumbass. Too nosy for his own good. Well, too bad you're actually a wacko psycho chick. <laughs> That's almost charming coming from you. What a shame that you need to die. Uh, backhanded compliments are getting old. Just get the hell out of our way before we beat your sorry ass. Don't let them leave here alive. Take them out. This will be good practice. I got this. Let's go. 
get them. Damn it. Hey, Namba. What? What is it? You feel strong enough to run? Uh, yeah, I can manage. Good. Get out of here while you can. We'll hold them off. No, I've no time to argue. Go! What about you guys? We'll figure something out. But if you don't make it, who's gonna find your brother? Aren't you... aren't you mad at me for not telling you about him? I knew you my life, man. Don't you realize? If you'd been honest from the start, I would've helped you anyhow. And we'd have ended up exactly where we are now. Paul's deep in trouble. So we're cool. Ichiban. Thank you. But I can't just leave you all here. That's okay. I'm balls deep in this too. Me too. I'm balls... Well... I share the sentiment. But... Tachi-san... Sacha... You're all sure about this? Shut up! Get going already! All right! Hey! Don't let him get away! No more playing Chase! How about actually fighting us, Sankui-san? Or are you scared? Oh, you little... Hey, calm down. Getting mad will give you stress wrinkles. Yeah. Isn't smooth skin a big thing for chicks like you? All your flirting with the guys will be for nothing if you get all angry now. Oh, you bunch of punks! You need to watch your fucking mouths! Seems I've underestimated you, Ichiban Kasuga. <sighs> then, how about we call it a day, if you don't mind? That depends on what he says. Huh? <sighs> Fine. You still want to fight, Jungian? Arata, Namban and Ijin chose a pandeshi choba. I'm sorry, ma'am, but Namba managed to slip away. Shit. <laughs> Good job, Namba. Quiet. You don't understand what you've done. Sure I do. We saved our friend from getting murdered. What's it to you? If he leaks the secrets of our operation, we'll lose any control we had, and Ijincho will crumble. Crumble? But don't you think you're being a bit dramatic? And if the fake money dries up, wouldn't that cut down on crime? None of you understand. I'm telling you, the city would grind to a halt. We can't allow that to happen. Does that mean you're not giving up on snaring Namba, then? Of course not. Until he scales the Great Wall, he's fair game. The Komi Jewel will use every resource at its disposal to find him. Say you actually find him. Then what? We kill him, obviously. You set on that? <laughs> of course. <sighs> well, I guess we're doing this. Doing what? My pals and I will help Namba escape, since you insist on murdering him. I guess we'll just see which side gives up first. This will be exciting. <laughs> You're not funny. Not trying to be. 
I'm serious. Haven't you figured out what kind of guy I am yet? <sighs> yeah, a pain in the ass. Don't be like that. I know you're head over heels for me. So, can't you just let Nama go? He's not gonna go around spreading your secret. Well, it's not just my secret. So I can't make the decision by myself. But you're the leader of the Komi Jewel. If you just give the word... Kasuga. What? 2 a.m. tonight, Heian Tower in Chinatown. Be there. There's a man I'd like you to meet. Whether Namba lives or dies will be up to him. Who is he? Don't be late. What's gonna go down at Heian Tower? Your guess is as good as mine, man. What are we going to do until 2 a.m.? Actually, there's something I want to look into while we got the time. What's that? For six months, Nanba pretended to be a bump so he could watch the Komi Jewel. That's what they said, wasn't it? Yeah. Songui mentioned it. He must have had a lot of stuff at the homeless camp to live there so long. It's probably still there. I want to check, at least. There might be a clue that would tell us where he'd go if he had to hide, you know? Huh, not a bad idea, but... Can't take Psycho to a smelly hobo camp. Dude, I'm going too. Don't even think about pulling that card. Maybe I should challenge him sometime. Hey. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Yo. Hey ya. Okay.
Okay. I see. Here. You sure this is the place? Aw, are you scared? Don't be so wimpy. I thought you were a cop. That was a long time ago. I'm a driving instructor now. Ah, Dachi-san's just allergic to fancy restaurants, that's all. He's a man of basic tastes. It's true. I only ever go to fast food joints. Ugh, that's so gross. Also true. Right on time. But everyone's already inside, waiting for you. Well, we weren't late, so you don't get an apology. And I wasn't expecting one. I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. And who is them, by the way? You'll see. Go in, please. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. You have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Ah. But now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. Come in! That was Song Hui. Here we go. Yo, Kasuga-kun. How you doing? Xiao. And... <laughs> hey, what's up with the old guy? Watch it. That's Ryuhei Hoshino, the Seiryu clan chairman. What? But if he's here, then that would mean they're... Yeah. The Aegean Three. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Kasuga, think you can tell us what the hell is going on here? <sighs> Please, step inside. Hey, aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year, unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Leomang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. 
At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile, you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Xiao's prisoner? <laughs> prisoner? We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't, that's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. A bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. It's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect, but it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic there? Oh boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, right? Yes, because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost became the Yokohama Liuman. They were driven out of Chinatown and into Ijincho. But the Seryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. For a time, the gutters practically ran with Liuman and Seryu blood. Man, you gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? You want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that is. The Seiryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait, are you all in this together? Kasuga-kun, calm down, you're jumping to conclusions. Because I'm pissed off right now! First I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Ijing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war! Tell me! Why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you with your damn Seiryu clan! You're the one getting the most out of this! No. Because we're not the final destination of the fake yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens Liberal Party. And all three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? Ah, suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? Fine, get on with it. Ogikubo is the man who proposed making fake money in Ijincho. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seryu chairman and first Liumang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? At the time, Ogikubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seiryu clan and the newly arrived Liuman. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, 
He looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed, solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Okikubo split the roles up evenly. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liumang would import special paper, the Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogikubo know the counterfeiting process? He didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Agikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liumang? There would have been no point in paying off those two. That conflict goes deeper. Okikubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. But in the blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one, given how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Anyway, Ogikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ichincho. Well, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? Now, that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liuman. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. They created a tiny pocket of Ichincho that was essentially violence-free. Well, I bet that worked out great for the Liomang. Oh, and you're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liomang's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The first Grey Zone. And the Seiryu clan just accepted that. Why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that? Because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation. And that wasn't the only thing. Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Okikubo would contain it. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us. All while we kept our honor. This Ogikubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh. Well, perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komi Jewel was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came, but... Then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomang. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in. Right before a real war erupted. He brought us a proposal. That we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? In return, we would perform the surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Liomang. So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. Uh, 
after masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. You can't deny the ends justify the means. Ah, uh, well... What does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? <laughs> Your friend Nambakun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene Three. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? You looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but... I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. We can't do that to Nanjan. Sure is tempting. Kasago, but I'll pass. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasuga-kun. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Whose assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That's stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga, I don't turn down attractive offers, but don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But, uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch! Cool him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey, we don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this, what will you do? I mean, guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins.
Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, hello to you too. Kume-san, right? Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... How did you know? Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. Hey man, we gotta hurry. The Yijing Three sent Liu Meng assassins after you. Liu Meng? Not Komiju? Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup? Just us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh. I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Greys... The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumang are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san! I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No. I think he's telling the truth. What? To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not great wall of muscle strength. Um, I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh, dear, dear Kumekun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Eugene Cho arm of Bleach Japan. That's... Uh... Ogasawara-san, what are you getting at? No kidding. You sure you're a civilian? <laughs> of course I am. I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. What is with this guy? I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma. Lao Ma? Mabuchi, why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. My service is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. Hey, Namba, wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I just want to find my brother. Whether he's alive or otherwise. Um, Ogasawara-san, what about me? Mabuchi. <laughs> Give this simpering piece of human garbage a fitting in. Didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! Yeah! Slice them up however you want. I got this. Let's go! Take it! Ah! Suck it up! Take it! 
Statue of Guan Yu. It's a legendary Chinese weapon. So Mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient Chinese heroes. If he does, he's in for a rude awakening when I break his little stick. Right. Where do you want to bleed first? I'm not that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's getting serious now. You yeah, serious I think right he's now? in a bad mood. Is that literally fire coming out of him? That's your game of brain talking again. But fire or not, oh, he's angry as hell. No problem. Let's just deal with him. Gotta hold it together. I'm not backing down. That's it. That's it. This one's my special. Get ready, buddy!
God, how great this can feel. Oh, good. You can still talk. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say, I was just following orders. Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The man you just allowed to escape. The director of Fleet Japan. Ogasawara. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is he Jincho itself. What's he on about? <clears throat> he wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> a crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? <laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes! My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the e Gene 3 against you? <sighs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the e Gene Fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The e Gene 3. That's all over. 
The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion? My bleached Japan? No. <laughs> you still don't get it? Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance in Kamurocho. Are you shitting me? I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I... <laughs> Don't ever compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> Guys, if the Omi Alliance is coming here... Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Well, Iyanamba went into that back room over there. Yeah, I saw. Let's go find him. Ogasawara's gone. He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Gomi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Mom chan If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Ogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man! Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You've got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide. At least until tomorrow. Mabuji told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan, as much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us too? Shut up. Think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nonomiya out of pure greed. I know, but I need their help to find my brother. <laughs> Really? You're just leaving? Wanna stop me? Go for it. Hell, attack me from behind. I don't care. You know we'd never pull that kind of shit. Don't be stupid, man. We're still buds. Ugh, don't say that shit. <clears throat> Ichiban. I know how this crap feels, but we don't have time for it. Let's focus on the task at hand, searching this Bleach Japan office. I think it's back there, and this is our chance. No one's around. Yeah, you're right. What's up? Uh, uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? But... He's supposed to be dead. Huh? In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki? Not Aoki. I know him as...
young master. His name is Masato Arakawa.